Good morning, everybody. Got another early bird stream today. It's about 7 a.m. Central, 5 a.m. on the West Coast. Let's see who's up. Let's see who's up and at them. Hey, good morning, Brian. <clears throat> morning like the early ones. It gets me before work. Yeah, you know, there's a, I figure there's some early birds out there that are uh, up and at them. I've been getting up at like 4 a.m. lately, man. It's pretty crazy. I go to bed at 8 p.m. and I get up at 4 a.m. I'm on that old man schedule. Let's see if I get my light here. Leonardo Gomez Jr., hello. Good morning. I'm feeling a little bit emaciated today. Because <clears throat> I've been running two miles in the morning yesterday, two miles in the morning the day before. And this happens a lot when I do like heavy cardio. And I'm starting to see why people don't recommend doing exercise on the primal diet because it's really not necessary. And uh, when you're trying to just keep your nutrition up and all your uh, mineral stores up and stuff like that, it's not a good idea to be doing like cardio and sweating all day long. But uh, part of it could be because I'm not used to running. And I'm not adding enough food back into my diet and I'm burning too many calories running. So that's what's going on today. I don't, uh, my energy just sucks right now. So I know it's because uh, I'm not eating enough food. So just just a lesson there, guys. If you're going to work out or exercise on this diet, you have to replenish whatever calories you burned on that workout. you got to add that back into your diet. Otherwise, you're going to suffer for sure. The other reason I think I'm hungry this morning is uh, I'm on day two of eating fish. And I just do not find fish very satiating at all, guys. Like, uh, it's a very uh, mineral-rich food, and it's got some good nutrients in it and stuff like that. But uh, it's you got to eat, like, tons of fish to even compare to beef. And this wild-caught salmon I get is, like, real lean. So uh, I'm looking forward to getting some beef into my system today for sure. Because uh, when I eat fish for, like, a whole day, it just I don't feel as good the next day. But I know it's adding omegas and stuff like that, so you got you to gotta have fish. got to have it for the vitamin D in the wintertime, stuff like that. So I got one more meal here, some wild salmon. And I'm back to beef, thank God. Not a big fan of fish, guys, to be honest with you. <clears throat> I don't know what it is. I just eat it because they say you're, you have to eat it because it's got vitamin D and blah, blah, blah. But uh, it's... I find beef to be a hundred times better. Maybe I'm not eating enough of this stuff. Like I'm eating a pound at a time. That's got to be enough, right? Sam Will, good morning. Juice, good morning. Man, I've tried peeled apples today and it digests super easily. No bloating, nothing. So glad. You think I should try to eat one every day? Yeah, why not? I mean, if you're if you're craving it though, you know what I'm saying? Like I wouldn't force it on yourself, but there's nothing wrong with eating a fruit every day. You know what I'm saying? It's pretty good for you. Make sure you eat it with some cheese though. So it doesn't spike your blood sugar. I got milk today too, guys. That's another reason I think I feel like I'm just starving today. <clears throat> KB, good morning, guys. Good morning. So I'm, f 
I'm figuring out some really interesting stuff, guys, about the signs of hunger and what is the actual signs of hunger. Besides, like, just general, uh, your energy's dropping a little bit, I have found that uh, when I'm hungry, I tend to get anxiety and I tend to, like, overthink stuff. And so uh, that's something to consider, guys. It's something to think about. It's really interesting. It's actually one of the first things that I'm noticing now um, <clears throat> that indicates that I need to get some more food into my system is I start like ruminating in my head about things in my life or I start ruminating just about uh, potential problems or just worrying about stuff. I'm sure everybody can identify with what I'm talking about. Just getting that kind of worried feeling and... Uh, I'm pretty sure, guys, that's a sign of hunger. That's a sign of malnutrition and hunger. So if you guys uh, are getting worried about life, if, you're, if you have anxiety and stuff like that, and you're like in your head a lot, thinking about stuff, thinking about people you don't like, thinking about people that don't like you, you know what I'm saying? Just those kind of those spaces that you get into sometimes. I really think that that has to do with nutrition more than anything in the world because I've been so satiated on this diet for like a year and a half that um, it's really obvious to me when that starts hitting me and it'll hit me first thing in the morning, I'll actually wake up and I'll go like walk my dogs and uh, I'll find myself kind of uh, stuck in my head thinking about some things or pissed off at somebody from the day before or you know what I'm saying, just like getting in your head about stuff and I'm never like that normally on this diet guys, I'm just totally at peace and um, <clears throat> no mental issues, no worry, no anxiety, no depression, nothing like that. But every once in a while it creeps up on me and it'll hit me and I'll start worrying about stuff. And every single time it goes away when I eat a meal. So if you guys are, if you have anxiety issues or something like that, just eat more food. It's probably your body just telling you to eat more food. It makes sense that God would make us with like an anxiety mechanism like that, that would indicate when you need to eat. Sam Will, why don't you eat fish one meal and the second you can have beef and that way you won't be hungry the next day. Yeah, I might actually start doing that <clears throat> because I found that even eating like two pounds of this wild caught salmon is just, it just doesn't work out. So I'm wondering if King Salmon would be a little fattier and potentially, uh, I'm going to take this light out of my eyes. I'm kind of blinding myself here. I wonder if king salmon would be uh, fattier and have like, uh, be a little bit more satiating. How's the lighting there? A little. Lighting is tough, guys. I would hate to be like a movie director or a TV guy. Lighting in a camera angle is like... It's hard to do even just with one camera and one guy. There we go, it's not too bad. All right. So my energy right now is about, uh, honestly, I'm feeling like 50% right now. I don't know what it is, but I'm thinking after this meal, it's gonna beef it back up. Oh, I forgot my eggs. I need to grab my eggs, be right back. Cedar trees says, yo, juice. Hmm, I've been looking into Ray Pete's work and he argues that the fructose content actually inhibits the insulin excretion needed for the glucose. And so it's not a large insulin spike at all. Uh, maybe not, but it, it still wouldn't hurt uh, just to eat some cheese with it uh, in case there's any uh, toxins in the fruit too. The fat from the cheese will absorb the toxins from the fruit. And also it'll just, um, even if there's no large insulin spike at all, uh, it will 
diminish any insulin spike at all. You know what I'm saying? Sam, well, I'm into dried beef that I grind in a food processor and low heat melted butter and honey. My kids call it meat cookies. It's delicious and it's a good snack to take to work. That's cool, man. Yeah, that's that's really interesting. That's pretty creative. Cedar tree is interesting. I've been debating whether hunger and the mind and body are linked. Because craving the mind is a totally different thing. Craving processed sugars. Yeah. Yeah, craving is entirely different than hunger, guys. <clears throat> Dude, hunger is... It's like starvation, basically. You're starving, and when you're in a starving mode, you go into like kind of a panic mode, and it manifests itself. Um, I'm pretty positive on this, guys. I've got this figured out. It manifests itself very firstly in uh, mental anxiety. I think the weakness in the body follows after that, but the very first sign of hunger is mental anxiety and ruminating thoughts. That's how it works for me. Uh, probably works that way for a lot of people, I'm thinking. Because I don't know what else would cause anxiety and ruminating thoughts when you're on this diet, you know what I mean? Because like everything's taken care of in your life when you're eating this food. You don't have anything to worry about. So it's just really interesting how that works out. But uh, it automatically goes away. Like the reason I know it's food related, guys, is that um, I'll eat one oyster when I get in those moods, when I don't eat enough food for like two days and then I'll wake up with like uh, anxiety and stuff like that, I'll eat one oyster and it'll go away. So it's pretty obvious it's food related. Wolf Shange, I never realized that I got stress rings in my eyes until yesterday. Explains why I have to exercise a lot. Yeah, I think I exercise for stress relief too. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm almost positive. Like to, uh, to battle anxiety and to just, uh, just to kind of get the brain going, get the endorphins going and stuff like that. Bam, I got multiple stress rings. How do you look, how do you look for stress rings? Cause I got pictures in my eyes. I just don't know what to look for. Anxious kid, but I know food is a trigger for it. Garbage eating encourages anxiety. Oh man, it makes it the worst. Like sugar and caffeine and just uh, glutamate. Do you know about glutamate? Like the neurotransmitter, glutamine or whatever. It's, it gets confusing. There's like glutamate and glutamine, but I think it's like glutamate. Like MSG, monosodium glutamate. That's, that's like a neurotransmitter for your brain, guys. It's like an excitatory neurotransmitter that's in, in food. Bam, I'm calm on meat and fasting. Love it. Matt F, did all your previous live streams get taken down? Uh, I put them all in BitChute. I got uh, YouTube threatened my channel once again. So this isn't my first rodeo, guys. So um, it's the second time I've taken all my videos down. You can find them on BitChute. You can find some of my videos on my backup channel. It's it's a total mess, guys. Like I'm considering just taking everything down and putting it on uh, Patreon, but we'll see how it goes. By the way, BitChute is a bunch of shit too, guys. Don't buy the, uh, don't buy the BitChute is free speech shit because they're shadow banning my channel too. <clears throat> Leonardo Gomez, are you still doing Guernsey milk only? Yes. Ogenus says you produce stress hormones if you don't exercise and got stress rings. Okay. How do I look for stress rings, guys? Help me out. Help me out here, man. Here, I'm gonna show you guys. Let's see if I can bring up my eyeballs.
All right, guys. Uh, whoever knows about stress rings, here's my eye. Let me know. Do you see stress rings in there? This is on my Instagram. Is there stress rings in there? The only thing I've noticed on this eye is I got that brown spot right there. There's the lymphatic buildup. This is, that's my old eye. See how it's more yellow? There's that same spot. But yeah, this is my new eye. But do you guys, do you see any stress rings there? I'm just curious. Because like, I'm really like torn on exercise guys. Like it seems like I get benefits from it, but at the same time, it like breaks my body down. So I'm just really conflicted on it at this point. Wolf Shange, I intuitively throw away the skins of fruit as a child. That's interesting. X Vegan Mama 3, as in leaving YouTube. YouTube is hilarious, guys. YouTube is funny. Wolf Shange, Weston Google Iridology stress rings, then go to images. Okay. Israel, morning, Weston. Good morning. Wolf Shange, Ogenus calls them sports rings. By the way, exercise affects my mind and stress. I'm going to um, take a wild guess that I have stress rings, but I'm going to see what you guys said. Jeremy R., hello, friends. Good morning, man. KV, I believe it's baked into our DNA to get anxious when we were hungry. Back in an indigenous setting when the next meal wasn't guaranteed, hunger would definitely be a cause for anxiety. Yeah, right. And anxiety is like the beginning of uh, wanting to like kill something. You know what I'm saying? It's like they say um, like Christians believe that when you harbor hate, you are a murderer in your heart. When you harbor any kind of hate towards another human being. Because they fl they believe, we believe, I guess, that hate is the very first step in murder, which is like very, very interesting when you think about that. So when you hate someone in your heart, you're murdering them in your heart. It's like profound shit. So I'm wondering if anxiety, like anxiety, like it, um, it's like a precursor to hate. So when you have a lot of anxiety, it makes you like start to hate your life and start to hate people and just start to hate shit for no reason. And that can lead to murder. So it's almost like anxiety is a way, like hunger creates anxiety, anxiety creates hate, hate creates murder. It's a way for you to like go kill your next meal. You know what I'm saying? Or get you get you primed up to go battle your next meal. Matt F, freaking YouTube. Yeah. It's amazing they even let us talk on here for the time that they let us talk. You know what I'm saying? Wolf Shans, did YouTube put your live streams down? Uh, they sent me a, check my uh, <clears throat> my community tabs. I made a post on my community tab and I let everybody know. But yeah, they sent me an email. It was in my spam folder. It was the same thing that they did last year. Some kind of copyright strikes. They threatened to um, suspend my channel, but they didn't tell me which videos they were talking about. So I'm guessing it was the videos. I, I, I'm not 100% sure, guys, but... And I'm just speculating, but it might be some of the Ogenus Archive videos that I put up there. I'm not 100% sure how authorized those are. So I think there may be a conflict of interest. There may have been a conflict of interest with my channel being monetized and also um, posting those Ogenus clips. So it's, potenti it's potentially whoever owned those Ogenus clips could have done this because they would have been upset that... Uh, I was actually making money on those clips, which is messed up, but I can kind of see that at the same time if they're trying to make money on them. So I'm just speculating, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. So I'm just gonna uh, stay away from using other people's content and I'm just gonna provide my own content and see what happens. 
Juice, yeah, maybe the anxiety is to keep us awake to look for food because I can't sleep if I eat too little calories or fast. That's a that's a good explanation there too. It does keep you awake. Yeah, my anxiety is already like gone way down since I've been eating this food uh, today. I've only been here 20 minutes and it's already, I'm feeling like uh, normal again. Bam says, no, I don't see it. You do not see stress rings? Oh, good. That's good, man. KV, it's also been shown that testosterone production goes up after a day or two of not eating, probably so we could have hunted more efficiently. Absolutely. Testosterone production, guys, also goes up when you travel. Did you guys know that? I'm sure a lot of guys can relate to this, possibly. But if you've ever been in an airport before... It's like all you want to do is look at beautiful women. Part of that is because you're seeing a lot of beautiful women that you've never seen before and stuff like that. But it's there's no doubt in my mind that traveling boosts your testosterone because that's also an adaptation that we were programmed with when you would go travel <clears throat> to go spread your seed. You know what I'm saying? And also uh, prepare you for any kind of potential conflict that would arise. But... Uh, I notice that every time I go through an airport, guys, every single time, it's like when I'm traveling, even if it's just from an adjacent state to my state or back and forth, anytime I leave my area and I go travel, it's like my, uh, my sexual drive is like twice what it normally is. It's very interesting. Cedar trees, no rings, you're good. Oh, thank you very much for confirming that. That's good to know. So... That kind of confirms my suspicions too that I don't need to exercise because uh, I feel great when I don't exercise too. So it's just, I'm really conflicted on it, man. I think I need to uh, maybe just uh, not worry about it so much. And once I get some land or get a homestead or something like that, I'll just get basic exercise every day, walking around and doing stuff like that. So it won't be a big of a deal. Wolf Shang, isn't the brown spot an indicator for kidney liver? I wouldn't doubt it, dude. I wouldn't doubt it. I'm almost positive that I either have I either had kidney or liver damage or both. Because I've had a heavy feeling in my kidneys before. Uh, I remember when I was drinking like too much water, I was pissing like eight times a day. Like I stressed my kidneys out big time, guys. And uh, I could feel my kidneys like spasming, whether it was my adrenal glands or my kidneys. I've had spasms in my kidneys a bunch of times. <clears throat> And I've also got, uh, it almost looked like, at one point, it looked like my liver was enlarged, but I don't think it was. I think it was just my imagination. But I do have some weird, like, uh, it's like black hair growing out on top of my liver, which is very interesting. And I did read that when you have, uh, like, thick black hairs growing out of your body, it's a sign of, like, insulin resistance. And I thought that was really interesting that I had thick black hairs growing on my skin just in one little patch right on my kidney or right on my uh, liver my on my skin so very interesting but yeah I, i'm not sure i've looked that up wolf change i've looked up iridology before and i can't remember where what organ or what gland that brown spot indicated but i think it was like either kidney or gallbladder or something like that is Rathnizam, what are your top three meats? Well, I would say beef, fish, liver, beef, liver, and fish. Um, but I just eat like mostly all beef. So it's just going to be basically beef, 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 you know, for the most part. But every once in a while, I throw some fish in there or some liver. As far as beef cuts, though, I like chuck roast, ribeye, um, short ribs, all that good stuff. Juice, I think I react to liver. I ate some yesterday in the evening. I woke up like five times in the night. Interesting. Jasmine's urine tutorials. Hey, man, sucks what's going on with your vids. I was trying to find the bit where you were talking about what Ajahn said about painkillers. Um, oh, you mean about the dental stuff? About like the dental injections? Yeah, go to my bit shoot channel. There's a... Uh, I put links... Links are in the comment or in the uh, descriptions below all my videos. And look up the one where it says Novocaine. 
if you're talking about dental pain injections, Novocaine injections. Sam, well, does anyone know how headache remedies that Ajahn has suggested? I get headaches sometimes that is bad since I switched the raw meat. I get worse headaches when I first start raw meat. Uh, real quick, I was going to ask, does anybody know that Ajahnus say anything about uh, hiccups? Like what causes hiccups? I think of some weird stuff every once in a while that I've never heard Ajahnus talk about. And one is hiccups. There was another one I was thinking of that I'll have to um, remember. But yeah, I was wondering what he thought about what causes hiccups. I get worse headaches when I first started raw milk. Interesting. Sam Will, I noticed that I get headaches when uh, storms come in, like really bad low pressure storms. I don't know if that affects you too, but um, my headaches are linked with the weather. It's really weird. I haven't connected any of my headaches with my food, so I'm not 100% sure what you got going on there. Yeah, raw cream sounds legit. Lady Anne, good morning, YouTube fam. Good morning. Possible dehydration. Yeah, that's a big... Yeah, that's a big one for headaches, guys. Dehydration, for sure. <clears throat> uh, salt is definitely toxic, guys. That's not an opinion. That's a fact. Lady Anne, my favorite is raw venison deer. Good stuff. I don't have not had raw deer yet. I've had some good wild game, wild deer though. It's good stuff. But it was in like, uh, like sausage form. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if. Uh, Salt is the best recommendation for healing health problems, guys, because salt is really toxic for you. I mean, you may be low on sodium, and you're going to want to get that through, like, oysters, milk, eggs, and stuff like that. But, I mean, you can only recommend what works for you, I guess, and what you think works for you. But I'm almost sure that's, like, eating salt, eating rocks of salt, it's going to be... Uh, more of a, a net negative than a net positive just because your body's not designed to process rocks. If anything, if you're trying to add sodium back into your diet, because that's essentially what you're correcting there with rock salt, just start eating more foods with natural sodium in it and that's just going to be a lot better for you. Corn fed Western Price, if I'm not mistaken, headaches were related to salt dumping from the brain. You know what, man? That makes the most logical sense. That's very interesting. And I was going to say uh, the headache is probably a detoxification, but it's like I get sick of saying that because everything is detoxification. But if you're having a headache on this diet, it's probably your headache, your head working something out. You know what I'm saying? So, cedar trees, one cup of mineral water with three tablespoons of honey is Ogenus' remedy for hiccups. Oh, sweet. Thanks, man. See, I knew if I'd asked the question, you guys would know. One cup of mineral water with three tablespoons of honey. Is interesting. Dude, I used to have bad hiccup attacks. Did you, have you guys related to that at all? Like really bad hiccup episodes? Chili to go, deer liver was the best liver I've ever had. Lady Ann, what about Himalayan salt? That's It's a scam, for sure. It's a scam. Yeah, Lady Ann, so um, humans aren't designed to eat rocks. So that's like the most, that's like the best way to explain it, the most simple way to explain it. Um, we didn't naturally have that in our diets, and God didn't create rock salt for humans to eat. Salt is like plant food, it's like soil food. So, you know, 
the rain comes down, hits the rocks, dissolves the minerals off the rocks, goes into the soil, the soil feeds the nutrients to the plants, and then the ruminant animals go eat the plants, and then we eat the ruminant animals. That's the chain of life. That's how salt should enter the human body. Salt should not enter the human body from people mining chunks of rocks from the earth and then you just ingesting it. It's, it's really unnatural. Kai Salas, Ogenous dead headaches are mainly caused by salt detox. For quick relief, he recommended sipping some naturally sparkling water. <clears throat> Juice, say Lady Anne, just try how you feel without salt. I can't do it, I use rock salt. Oh, you can definitely do it, man. But um, if you're on this diet and you're eating the right type of foods, I haven't added salt to my food in like four or five months or something like that. And I'm able to go run two miles, no problem. I could probably run four, you know, stuff like that. I can go ride my bike for 25 to 30 miles with no water and no salt. Wolf's change. The common headache is from either high blood pressure, <clears throat> most likely from eating salt, or low blood circulation or toxic bloodstream. Wolf's change. Cluster headaches are caused by low body fat. Interesting. The end. Okay, thank you. That's helpful. Yep. Israthnizam. I never get hiccups, only when I eat too fast or don't chew. Wolf Shange, eat raw honey every five minutes for migraines, avoid meat and dairy. <clears throat> Interesting. I love when people recommend like microdosing LSD for headaches. Like, like, like we used to have LSD when we were like in a primitive setting. It's so stupid. Feel my life force coming back, guys. I was feeling pretty weak this morning. It's amazing how uh, how fast your body can flip on you. You got to really be on top of this stuff, especially when you're pushing yourself, training and running and doing all sorts of crazy stuff. I tend to go a little bit crazy when I run and lift weights and ride bikes and stuff like that. Like I just, I really like to push myself. It's in my DNA for sure. I got a bunch of athletes in my family. My grandpa actually played uh, baseball. So I learned, I got a lot of my athleticism from my grandpa. Did Ajna say anything about uh, black tea? Do you guys remember that? If he mentioned anything about tea, like uh, besides the obvious like oxalates. I just, I can't say I ever heard him mention anything about tea. So I'm guessing it's probably all right for you. Hiccups are spasms of the diaphragm muscles. Hmm. <clears throat> Juice, is that be true, but we'd still be drinking some natural river water, which would probably have way more minerals than modern water. Yeah, did Ajahn say anything about river water too? Is it okay to drink from a stream? I was wondering about that. 
East Coast Lover started carnivore a few days ago. Feels amazing. Sure does, doesn't it? Feels way better than the standard American diet, man. That'll make you feel like shit. RL Mill, to be careful of heavy metals in some teas. Oh, okay. Is that, is that an issue? That's a problem with cannabis too, guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna start I'm gonna wake up all you guys on cannabis, dude. Can medical cannabis is sprayed with like heavily sprayed with pesticides. And cannabis is one of the best plants in the world at soaking up uh, metals from the soil. So yeah, you're smoking heavy metals when you smoke weed. And uh, they also used it in Chernobyl. They planted hemp all around it to soak up the metals from the soil. So yeah, guys, keep buying all those lies that the weed is good for you <clears throat> while they spray it with pesticides and don't tell you about the heavy metals and basically don't regulate it. Farood and M, hey, the last two weeks I watched almost all your live streams and I have to say real interesting stuff, man, and thank you for your work. Right on. I'm glad you enjoyed, enjoyed it. Kai Salas, I hear her eating raw brain brings about almost instant, instant mental clarity. Is that true? I've never had the chance to try it. Um, I mean, it definitely, I love brain. I got some coming too, guys. I got a Miller's Organic Farm order that uh, it's going to be here either today or tomorrow. So you guys are going to see me eat some brains and some adrenal gland. Hopefully, if they shipped it. But uh, yeah, I always feel really good eating raw brain. I don't know if it's like instant mental clarity like that, like high meat. But I do have clarity when I eat raw brain, for sure. It's very energizing. Juice, I see tea is the better version of coffee, but it still produces stress hormones. That's why you microdose the tea leaves. Interesting. Yeah, it's, caffeine is a little bit stressful, huh? Cedar trees. Now, tea soak up a lot of toxins from the ground. The only okay one I know of is local here in South Africa called Rubos. Yeah, they, it does soak up a lot of toxins, huh? Wolf's Change Agents recommends sipping one cup of very warm, good mineral water mixed with three tablespoons of raw honey and massaging the diaphragm. That's good to know. Well, it's not an issue I have today, but I had it on the standard diet, man. <clears throat> I don't know about Agents, but I remember Sperry saying tea is very toxic. Interesting. Wolf's Change. I would guess that river water is fine until it's chemically polluted. I'm going to go with that too. Especially with what we know about bacteria and stuff now. <clears throat> yeah, so it's like, what? So what are people worried about when they're like, like living in a forest or something like that? Like, what is everybody worried about? If you can just drink from the river and eat the animals. Why is everybody freaked out about starving to death and stuff like that? And like not having, uh, not having clean water. That's so, it's so ridiculous how backwards everything is. Like everybody's so scared. Everybody's like, people are scared of water, dude. We're, we're like, the human being is 70% water and people are scared of water. <clears throat> human beings are 98% bacteria or whatever. People are scared of bacteria. It's like the, when you look at it that way, it's the dumbest thing in the whole world, man. And like, to me, it seems like that way, but to other people that are just waking up to it, they probably doesn't seem that dumb, but it's just so dumb, dude. I'm sure a lot of you guys in chat know what I'm talking about. Like once you just, there's like levels to this. When you wake up at first, you're like, holy shit, I'm being lied to. And then you wake up again and you're like, holy shit, I'm being lied to. And then you wake up again and you're like, oh my God, everybody's dumb. East Coast lover, weed makes me lazy and paranoid. Yeah, it makes me a little paranoid too. Otis ate. Damn, so there's no weed on earth fit for human consumption? I'll be honest with you, man. I don't know if weed is meant to be inhaled into your lungs. You know what I'm saying? I think Ogenus recommended uh, eating like raw flour with a piece of cheese. So that way, if there's any metals or pesticides on the raw flour, uh, it gets absorbed by the cheese. So I don't, I don't know if I, I would say, I don't know if I would go as far as saying there's no weed fit for human consumption, but there's definitely no medical weed fit for human consumption, guys, because medical weed is not regulated by the FDA because it's not federally legal. And so the consequences of it not being regulated by the FDA 
is you're getting a bunch of weed with pesticides on it. Organic pesticides, right? But we all know that organic pesticides are super bad for the human being. So they get away with it by pushing organic pesticides. Is our our bodies able to get rid of all the pesticides and heavy metals or are they just sitting there in our bodies? Uh, I would say the body over time could get rid of everything. I mean, it's, it's designed that way, so that's, th that's definitely possible. Should you go where you could microdose shrooms, have a little experience doing it when I had horrible sinusitis and infected tonsils. After 20 minutes, instant relief from pain and fatigue for the rest of the day. You could. And I've thought about that, but it's not, and it might work, but it's not a realistic recommendation because shrooms are super freaking rare. Like, they're extremely hard to find. They're extremely rarely found in nature. So it's not something that would work for everybody to tell them to microdose shrooms. And I don't think it was a realistic thing that they did back in the day. You know what I'm saying? So I'm guessing that there's probably an easier solution um, than microdosing shrooms because they're just basically impossible to find unless you're farming them yourself, you know what I'm saying? Which is uh, arguably unnatural too. But yeah, shrooms are just like, they're just like one of the rarest things found in nature. You need like a perfect combination of things in order to get the... Uh, the mycelium to produce the spores and to produce the pins and to um, to actually have them pop out of the soil and then you have to just randomly stumble across them in nature and find them. It's like really freaking hard to find. East Coast Lover CBD oil is something I would try. I know people have relief from that for sure. Good for seizure disorders. Oh, to say there's too much surface pollution nowadays, I guess, to be dabbling in weed. Yeah, and it, it, it's a lot of surface pollution, and it's a lot of like commercialized bullshit. They're just, there's people making millions of dollars, guys, on this medical weed, and they don't give a shit about your lungs. They don't give a shit about your pesticides. They just, they don't want to lose their crop to uh, spider mites or whatever the hell. So they just gas the hell out of their freaking plants. Like, picture this in your mind, guys. The medical weed that you're smoking. They're going around and just gassing it. They're just gassing these plants, dude. It's not good. If I read it in your live streams, you recommended the Unabomber Manifesto. Such a great book. Can you recommend some more books? Um, it is a dude. The Unabomber Manifesto is an extremely interesting book, guys. But he's a total gamma male, and like I said, he went about his uh, course of action. The, the wrong way when you choose violence you've lost the game so i don't recommend violence by any means ever but uh the guy was a total freaking genius man he was uh just a brilliant man so if you're interested in reading something written by brilliant men uh read the manifesto of the unabomber because it's it's fascinating Lady Anne, my friend's little two-year-old loves seal raw brain. His high chair is always covered in blood, LOL. It's interesting, but I love it. That's cool. Sounds like you have a, a, a good friend. RL Mint, Ajna said high bacteria water is best, so yes, river water should be good. Oh, it's good to know, man. Good to know. Next time I go to Colorado, go up in the mountains, I'm drinking, uh, drinking some stream water. Jeremy R, LOL, our world is upside down. Dude, it's unbelievably upside down everything is inverted dude everything's inverted you know i noticed yesterday i took a picture of some uh, modern art that we have downtown <clears throat> we have like this little pond that i like walk my dogs around and there's like this so-called modern art in the middle of the lake and what it looked like was just like a rusty brown pole sticking straight up out of the water and then there was like a ball on top of it with a bunch of spikes coming out of it, but it was all rust colored. It looked like a rusty metal. And it was just like a ball with all of these like spikes coming out of it. And that was what they considered artwork. And then I went down the lake and I saw three posts sticking up with this with the same rust color. Like it literally looked like deteriorating rusty metal. And then it was like three poles sticking out of the ground. And then it was like these little like rings on the top. It looked like, a, I don't know, it looked like a pipe cleaner or something like that. 
but it didn't resemble artwork at all, guys. And it didn't inspire me. And it actually like disgusted me. And I took pictures of it and sent it to my buddy. And I was like, what the fuck is going on with modern art nowadays? Like it's so incredibly ugly and disgusting and uh, uninspiring. And uh, we were just talking about how basically like um, that kind of shit is being elevated nowadays, that kind of uninspiring stuff because they want you to be uninspired. But like the artists nowadays, so like this, this goes on the topic of the world is upside down. They're elevating shitty artists nowadays. Like they're elevating the artists that can't do art. It's really weird. So that's why you're seeing all of the art is messed up nowadays and all the music is getting messed up too because they're, they're basically taking the most nerdy, talentless, uninspiring people and elevating them to the top above, above the people that have the talent, that, are, that have the art, that have the inspiration and stuff like that. And, <clears throat> and they're presenting their artwork to the world instead of real artwork. It's unbelievable, man. So you can see it in modern artwork. You can see it in modern architecture as well. It's really, really weird, man. Wolf Shange, I actually live in a forest. Really? That's awesome. But I don't know if the rivers are clean. Yeah, try to go upstream as much as you can, I guess. Brian M, did AV talk about we needing to eat the whole animal to replenish our whole body? Um, pretty much. In other words, if you compile all of his lectures together, he essentially talks about all the body parts. So I would say it's not a bad idea to eat everything. Is wrath and Islam. Damn, I've been scraping that coating off thinking it's food residue. Ajahn Archive, National Human Diet. You want to join Discord and chat on the live stream. Mm, I'm not sure what you're asking. Discord. I'm kind of familiar. Yeah, Discord's like a it's like a chat app, right? I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure how to do that, I guess, or what you're asking. Uh, LS Lenny, do you plan on getting shredded and cut out the carbs again in the future? Um I'm really not like concerned with uh, how strong I am anymore as much as I am just like, I don't know, maybe, we'll see. I kind of go in like uh, fluctuations with the carbs because I run out of milk for a couple days at a time so I'll go like two days without milk and uh, I've gone weeks and weeks without fruit now so I don't have any fruit. I have a little bit of honey, you know what I'm saying? But if I get the time, the thing is, is like, I just, uh, I need the time to do it. But if I get the time and the energy to do it, I plan on uh, getting in the gym again, just to kind of see what this diet could do to my upper body. Corn for the Western Price. Ajahn said the heavy metals are trapped by calcium if you have enough to do it. Okay. Lady Anne, I love this conversation. It's so helpful. Right on. Yeah, I'm thinking if I, if I play my cards right, I can keep my channel around so we can continue to have these conversations. And I'm pretty sure I know what YouTube likes and what they don't like. They don't like you using other people's content. <clears throat> and they don't like you threatening their corner. So as long as you stay away from those two things, I think you're fine. Wall, sir. Body can override pesticide now, but next generation won't. DNA will change for sure. Bam, thoughts on cold showers. Sounds like torture. Sounds like torture. Um, cold showers sounds like um, it kind of sounds like bullshit, to be honest. Like saunas. Wolf Shans, any geography experts here who can tell one of the least chemical polluted environments on Earth? Actually, I should elaborate on that. So the cold shower thing, I think what you're doing there is you're probably like shocking your nervous system, which isn't the best thing to do. So I think the negative benefits from the cold shower probably neutralize the positive benefits. And I think all you're doing there is you're just getting an adrenaline spike. Wolf Shange, any geography experts here who can tell one of the least chemical polluted environments on earth? <clears throat> 
H2 human. It's illegal here in Scotland, but it's not regulated, but people definitely spray it. And I also thought I've seen fishing line in some to increase the weight, making me want to stop and coming down more. Yeah, dude. They don't, the guys growing this weed for you do not give a shit about you. They don't care. It's like you can get so rich on growing weed that um, it blinds you from the health, the negative health detrimental effects you could be giving to people. And also the good feeling that weed gives you blinds you from the negative effects you could be putting in your body. Freya, good morning. Sarah, shaping ladybugs are an excellent remedy for spider mites on your weed. I've heard that. Ladybugs are, um, <clears throat> or, uh, praying mantis. Otis ate. How did raw lamb blood taste like? It was very good. Um, I don't know. I mean, it tasted like blood. Um, but it was, it was good. I mean, it was just a good drink. That's how I can say it. It wasn't uh, gamey or gross or strong or anything like that. It was just a very nourishing, hydrating, uh, tasty drink. Blood is good, man. Wolf change. I think old civilizations might have been far more developed than we think. Probably. They were way more connected to God, that's for sure. Boxing fan 89. Can you explain how sunscreen is bad for you? And should we be scared of the sun? Oh yeah, sunscreen is horrible, dude. I'm pretty sure sunscreen is the thing giving you skin cancer. Um, I always hated sunscreen. My mom would always pressure me to put it on and I'd always hate it. And Because I, I would always feel like shit when I rub that shit in my skin, man. Ah, can't, I can't believe I used to do that. All over your face and your head. Crazy, man. Should we be scared of the sun? Definitely not. I actually don't even use uh, sunglasses anymore, guys. And that includes like when I'm driving like into the sun and shit like that. No sunglasses ever. Because I think when you use sunglasses, it really messes up your vision. It makes sense, right? Like when we were like hunting back in the day in a primitive setting, we didn't have fucking Oakleys on. You know what I mean? KV, everything is indeed inverted. Ajahn has said something to the effect of do the exact opposite of what they tell you and you will be good. It was in reference to health. It applies to a lot more. Yeah, Ajahn is, yeah, that was, that's very interesting. He was uh, on to something there. And yeah, he was right. Do the exact opposite of what they tell you and you will be good. Yeah. Jeremy R., my ex was an artist, a wacko. Me too, buddy. We have uh, a lot more in common than you think. <laughs> yeah. Bam, wolf, definitely just by looking at the old architecture and whatnot. Today, everything is looking boring and just squares. Also, what's up with the dumb banana art? Haha. -ha. Yeah, my buddy Sean, he said that. He said, um, you staple or duct take a banana to a wall and it sells for 1.5 million. But I said, that's just money laundering. That's a totally different uh, topic. But because basically, when you money launder like through art galleries like that, all of the uh, expensive art is just as shitty as the cheap art. You know what I mean? KV modern art was always a joke. Participation trophy art, LOL. Yeah, that's what it is. It's uh, participation for trophy art. And But you're seeing this all through society, guys. They're elevating low status males. They're elevating low status, nerdy, talentless men above the men that actually deserve it. And that's why you're seeing those shitty little artists rising above a real artist. You know what I mean? In my opinion, true art, the best art is the art that involves God and the devil and angels and stuff like that. Because it's like, that's the only thing that can inspire you in this world. Am I wrong, guys? I mean, God created everything, you know, and God and devil, I believe, are the, uh, the most influential forces in this world. Is there anything more inspirational than God and the devil to people? So it's just amazing when you remove God and the devil and that, that inspiration from artwork. That's when you get this, uh, this dead, soulless, godless, modern art of just metal spikes sticking out of a lake and stuff like that. You know what I mean? H the human. Yeah, I put black paint on a white canvas. One million pounds, please. Yeah, those are that's money laundering, guys. That's... Uh, that's another red pill for you guys. Art art shows is money laundering. 
that's the um, that's how you explain this really expensive artwork. Get a job. Good morning, brother. Hey, man. Good morning. Get a job. Bam. Banana banana tape to a wall. East Coast lover chat, but also with voice. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Wolf Shange, I think Audience Archive wants to Skype during your live stream. Get a job. The public library in my town has a giant rusty iron cube on the lawn, which is allegedly art. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, dude. Exactly. That's what I was just saying. It's like this rusty metal art. What are they trying to do? Audience Archive, National Human Diet. Just a quick register in Discord and we can have a live voice chat. I have some knowledge bombs to share. Wind Spirit 4221. All right, yeah, I'll keep that in mind. And uh, quick question in Discord, we can have a live voice chat. All right, Wind Spirit 4221. Okay, yeah, maybe we can set that up. I'll check that out. Cool. Well, yeah, so I'll, uh, I'll register that and then maybe we can set that up maybe for the next one or something. But you know where to find me. I'm usually streaming in the morning. And let's click on Discord. Have a live voice chat. 4221. All right, cool. Uh, let's see here. All right, let me check. Be right back a sec. All right, I'm already registered, so let's see if I can find you. Okay, it's not really connect. I'm not. It's not connecting to Discord for me here. Let me try this again. I don't know if it's because I'm using a VPN or what. Yeah, that's a good idea, Audience Archive, and I was gonna try to do it just now, but it's not connecting for some reason. I'm wondering if it's because I'm I'm streaming at the same time and I'm using a VPN. So, but I am registered in Discord, and um, yeah, maybe if maybe uh, if we get a hold, of, like maybe through email we can set it up or something like for tomorrow or the next day or something like that. But we should definitely do that. Kai Salas, did you see the art piece that was literally a banana taped to the wall? Yeah, me and my buddy Sean were talking about that yesterday. Yeah, but that's, I'm pretty sure that's money laundering. I mean, that's definitely subverting art and taking the beauty out of art. But uh, I think it's uh, money laundering as well. It's just when it sells for like a million. Shelly, good morning. Bobby Swain, there's some science behind heat shock and cold shock proteins. There is. Yeah. You've been you've been listening to too much uh, Rhonda Patrick, man. 
Rhonda Patrick is uh, so brainwashed, dude. And she's so full of shit. I can't believe I ever fell for the Rhonda Patrick lies, dude. On the Joe Rogan show. And she just sits there and freaking just blabs her mouth for like two hours about heat shock proteins and cold shock proteins and supplements and uh, glutamate and and um, um, antioxidants and uh, and you know all of her freaking words that she spots out so you know what I did when I listened to Rhonda Patrick and took her advice I went and bet, bought 50 supplements because that's all Rhonda recommends is supplements and so Rhonda Patrick will put you on 50 different supplements, but she won't tell you anything about raw meats or anything about actual nutrition. Like, that lady is like so full of shit, dude. So, that being said, I'm not buying into her heat shock and cold shock proteins and all that shit, because it's like, yeah, your body might produce heat shock and cold shock proteins, but is it that in resistance to extreme stress? You know what I mean? Like, are you just stressing the hell out of your body? So your body is just like, I need to produce something to counter the stress. You know what I'm saying? Eat raw meat. Am I late or are you early? Both, brother. Oh, just eight. Why and how our sauna is toxic? Uh, it just it um, damages your mucous membranes. So when your nose, your mouth, your throat, and stuff like that, those are all highly sensitive mucous membranes. And when you go into a sauna and you're sitting in there and it's 110, 120 degrees, whatever the hell it is, you're totally damaging that stuff. KB cold showers supposedly push lactic acid out of your muscles after strenuous exercise. Um, maybe on the standard American diet, guys, all of this like crazy recommendations to do like go to saunas and cold showers and supplements and cryogenic freezing or uh, barrel, whatever they call that shit when you like freeze yourself. Um, that's all I think bullshit and it's for people with like damaged bodies or people that are, uh, on the standard American diet. But when you go on this diet guys, um, and you, uh, work out and stuff like that, you have no muscle soreness, no muscle tightness, anything like that. It's amazing. I'm not just making this shit up. Like this diet will make it so your body is like indestructible during workouts and stuff like that. <clears throat> So people have been disconnected from this natural diet for so long that they're coming up with all of these like new age remedies to, uh, to heal your body from eating standard American food for 30 years and in order to uh, pump your adrenaline again and stuff like that, you know? So I think a lot of this stuff like cold showers and drinking coffee and drinking tea and like it's all like a false... Uh, form of producing adrenaline and just getting like a rush. Brandon White, yo yo, about to go to the fishmonger. Wolf change the steam you're inhaling is no good from the sauna. Yeah, that too, man. I'd love to hear what Ajinus Archive wants to share. <laughs> Me too. And for some reason, Discord is not connecting. So we're going to have to try it. We're going to have to set it up. It might be my VPN. Eat raw meat. Did you change the light? Doesn't look washed out anymore. Um, no. Well, you know what? I got a new desk and a new chair, so uh, the angle's a little bit different. But uh, no, it's all the same. It's the setup is slightly different. So if you're noticing something is different, it's definitely something different. Like this guy, my little plant. He wasn't there before. You guys noticed that. I had to throw a little uh, foliage in the room, you know? Make it more of a natural environment. Brandon White, yeah, joined Discord, man. Got some great people there. I've actually joined. I just, uh, I've been devoting all my time to this for the moment. Bam, sweating seems good, but not the sauna. The breathing aspect is terrible about it. Yeah, Ogenus Archive, maybe uh, shoot me an email and w I would love to set something up with you to where we can have a conversation on here. Bam, sweating seems good, but not the sauna. Breathing aspect is terrible about it. Just blanket up and sweat toxins out. Clean out pillow covers, even notice the sweat on it looks bad and yellow. 
Heat Rob Meat. The only time I use sunglasses when I drive and there's extreme road glare from rain or snow. Yeah. Yeah, snow sun, sun glare is pretty bad. Bobby Sweeney's spot on in regards to money laundering with art. It's easy and can't really be regulated. East Coast lover, when you're doing things backwards, it's usually satanic. Brandon White, definitely some good art within music. I found that most of the only, uh, most of the good music nowadays, the true artistic music is uh, instrumental. Or electronic, however you want to, whatever. Martin O'Donnell, morning folks. Jeremy R, I stopped wearing sunglasses over a year ago. I think maybe light could come into the eye. Sunglasses possibly blocking something we need in the iris. Definitely, man. Definitely. Boxing fan 89, does the sun age you like they say? Probably not. Because like your skin gets so soft and supple on this diet that I'm wondering if all that like just skin aging in general just comes from your diet and they're blaming the sun. They want you, god damn guys, pardon my French, but they just want you to be scared of everything natural. It's, I swear this is like Satan's plan. He wants you to be scared of everything that God created that's good for you. He wants you to be scared of river water. He wants you to be scared of the sun. He wants you to be scared of wild animals in the forest. That you're not supposed to eat them. He wants you to be scared of bugs. He wants you to be scared of bacteria. Dude, dirt? People are scared of dirt? Man. Eat raw meat. Charity is money laundering. I know this firsthand. Yeah, I don't give money to charity anymore. <clears throat> David Smith, cook food like a, cook food like a human. Um, no. Brandon White, I'd be down for a live voice chat with both of you. Would be fun. Yeah, I think uh, that would be fun, man. Yeah, if we can figure out how to do it, you guys probably know more about Discord. I didn't know they actually did voice chats. That's really cool. So, um, yeah, let's do that. David Smith, raw food only is postmodernist rubbish. <laughs> um, no, it's not, dude. I'll let you stick around for a while, but for, for, uh, you're about to be banned. Uh, Kai Salas, do you believe humanity is in a fallen state like Jesse Peterson says? Yes, I do. I believe we're in a fallen state and, uh, it's because of our parents, because they were put in a fallen state by their parents and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Ninety nine percent of us were in this position. There's maybe one percent of us that had perfect parents or near perfect parents, but most of our parents were extremely flawed. I do believe it's possible to be perfect parents. I think that's a lie when people say you can't be perfect. It's an excuse to justify your sins. So I do believe that we're all raised uh, basically just by shitty parents, and that's what makes you fallen and disconnected from God. East Coast lover, humanity is doomed. We are turning our backs on nature. That's why most people are depressed. Yes. Brandon White, HTPS, Discord. All right. Let's see where that link takes me. All right, Brandon, I uh, clicked on that link and it's still doing this uh, connecting thing. It's saying it's connecting on the bottom. So it's taking a while to connect for some reason. So I'm just gonna 
check back with it in just a sec here. Chili, how could I heal my eyesight? Um, well, on this diet, obviously, it will help heal your body. Um, eating a raw eyeballs or also um, taking raw egg white and rubbing it in your eyes will heal your eyes over time, but you're gonna have to do it like probably a couple times a day for possibly like a year or two. You're gonna have to put some work into it, man. You're not just gonna wake up one day, you know, with, with your eyesight healed, so. Brandon White, West enjoying that server. Both of us are there. Yeah, I'm trying, man. It's really weird. Uh, it's like, it's doing some weird shit. Here, I'll show you. So this is what it's doing. So I typed my name in, I clicked on the link, typed the name in, and then it just has this connecting thing down here. And it's got this weird box. I don't know what the hell, dude. I'm wondering if my VPN, because I'm running a VPN. So we might have to try this again like tomorrow or another day, guys. Like uh, I might have to uh, disconnect my VPN before I live stream. Do you guys know if Discord works with VPN or not? Lady Anne, where do you get your salmon? I get it from Whole Foods. It's like, honestly, I hate Whole Foods. I hate even walking in there. But uh, they're the only ones that have this uh, salmon, this frozen, it's frozen still, but it's uh, it's wild sockeye. Jeremy R, Rhonda, Patrick, LOL. Yeah, dude. Brandon White, I could do Friday. Okay, maybe we can just plan it for Friday then. Um, what I'll do, Brandon, is uh, I'll try to remind myself to not start my VPN before I go on next time, because I'm thinking that's the problem. Let me double check it here. Yeah, that has to be the problem, man, because it's not connecting. East Coast liver dropped all supplements since I started carnivore. Perform even better now and muscles look harder. Absolutely. I filled up a 55 gallon trash can, dude. Uh, halfway with supplements, dude. I bought like $500 in supplements. Chili, I can't see far. It's blurry. Yeah, I would try the raw egg white, dude. <clears throat> So like get some egg white, separate it from the yolk, and then just get a little piece of that egg white. <coughs> Excuse me. It's my first sneeze on live stream, I think. So uh, get a little bit of that egg white, take it on your finger, and then move your eye like that, and just rub it down in your eye like that, kind of all around. Do that every day, a couple times a day. See if it gets better. Corn fed Western price, cold showers is for bloated and inflamed people. Reduced inflammation is the only thing that gives you and is inflamed due to reparation, so it makes worse at stupidity. That makes that makes logical sense, yeah. It's for bloated, inflamed people. Right. Because cold reduces inflammation, right. And it also, I think it what it also does is it gives you an adrenaline rush, which pumps endorphins. Eat raw meat. Tonight I woke up and my whole body hurt like hell. After five minutes, it suddenly stopped. And since then, I feel extremely relaxed and strong. Feels like my body just had an update. Ha <laughs> ha. That's funny. You just had a hardcore uh, firmware update. That's funny, man. David Smith, does he eat wild pork raw? Uh, do I? I haven't yet, but I'm not against it. Bob Dylan's conscious and I eat meat. Ogenous is God? Definitely not God. The minute you make Ogenus your god um, is the minute you go back to sleep. Wolf Shange, thoughts on botulism. Sounds like total bullshit. My, buddy's af my buddy was afraid of botulism, of feeding his kid raw honey. I was like, dude, I'm trying to get this shit into his head. 
H D Human, I've been listening to classic music recently, enjoying it. It's good, man. If you can get past the stigma of just like people like classical music being like boring or nerdy or something like that, it's the most beautiful, inspiring music you could possibly imagine. And it just it's really upsetting how much classical music is not a part of our culture anymore. Bob Dylan's conscience maybe listen to good music old. Yeah, there's a lot of good old music out there. Like the Beach Boys. Love the Beach Boys. Jeremy R., they want you to be sick and dying. Bam, 432 hertz music. Sun gazing, you believe a man in the sky. In man in the sky. Uh, no, never said I believed in a man in the sky. Sun gazing. Um, yeah, I think sun gazing is probably good for you. Eat raw meat. Doctors say you should be scared of UV light from the sun. So to be sure, get as much UV light from the sun as possible. That's true, dude. The skin aging is 100% unnatural. Yeah, that's true. They say you should be scared of it, so get as much as you can. That's exactly right. <clears throat> Bob Dylan's conscious. Finnish saunas date back 10,000 years, dude. Um, What's your point? I don't understand your point. Chili to go. Any body care products? You know what also goes back 10,000 years? Cannibalism. Chili to go. Any body care products that someone can suggest or rather natural mixes? I would say everything that you put on your skin, teeth, etc. should be consumable. <clears throat> um, maybe look into his recipe book, Audrey's recipe book. But I would say to put on your body, like raw butter, raw coconut cream, Audrey's recommended, like in your hair, raw coconut cream. Um, that stuff all seems like it would be good for you. Wolf Shange, I'm listening to any type of music, but metal and heavy metal. That's cool. Yeah, I kind of got sick of metal too. That's like 100% devil worship music. I was pretty into metal, guys. I mean, I just saw Tool last year. You know what I'm saying? But it wasn't quite the same. I'll be honest with you. It wasn't quite the same. I mean, it was a good show and everything. It was really amazing. And I was like pretty much... It was like one of the first concerts I ever went to that I wasn't drunk, like off my ass. So it was really cool to listen to a show like uh, completely not wasted. But uh, it wasn't the same, man. It wasn't like this whole rocking out and like worshiping the devil and all that shit it was just it just didn't seem as cool to me anymore maybe because maynard's like in his 50s isaiah just lee pearson's silent prayer is not godly and has nothing to do with how we are told to pray in the bible new age sort of teachings what do you think um it does it does resemble in ways like uh meditation and stuff like that but it's actually different than meditation man because meditation um says that Basically, you should uh, focus on certain thoughts, but Jesse's prayer makes you just observe the thoughts, and it does work, dude. I need to start doing it more, but uh, it really does work. It makes you aware of that you're not your thoughts. That's basically what the silent prayer's point is, to make you aware of the constant internal dialogue that you have going on in your head. Those aren't yours. You didn't create those thoughts, and they're not yours. And you can't prove that they are yours either. So his whole theory is that they're from the devil, especially if you're in a fallen state, you know, and you're not like walking in the light with God and all that. So, um, yeah, I don't, I don't really think it's, I don't, I would think it falls under that new age kind of BS stuff. Um, and plus he doesn't necessarily base a lot of his teachings on the Bible. So you can't expect him to follow that normal type of prayer like stuff. And I don't, honestly, I like his prayer better than the prayers in the Bible. I'm not into that whole sit down and like pray for everybody and like pray for the world. And I don't, I don't think that stuff works. Like how, how can just wishing something into the ethereal change the world? Like it just, it sounds like, I don't want to get too into this, but, um, some people find comfort in prayer. I personally don't. I have found uh, that the silent prayer actually gives me a functional 
result. H.C. Human cheers Wolfshand. Cole sliced out prayer is actually a pretty old Ignatian practice. That's going to be my guess, man. If you actually like look into the history of it and stuff, you're going to find that that silent prayer Isaiah is uh, probably just as old as the Bible or older. Brandon White, yeah, I'd be free this time on Friday. Not sure about the VPN. Yeah, it's got to be the VPN because my my connection usually doesn't do that. Del Ott, how many acres of land would feed a family of four if the land isn't fertile? Can it be fixed? with regenerative agriculture. I don't know enough about that to tell you about the land, but I could tell you that um, well, it depends on if you're trying to grow or what, you're trying to grow something or, I mean, I would say two acres is enough, guys. Two acres is more than enough to sustain some chickens, some goats, I don't know about a small herd of cattle yet. I'm not sure what kind of space is needed for small herds of cattle. Not 100% on that yet. But uh, I think two acres is perfectly fine. And if the land isn't fertile, can it be fixed with regenerative agriculture? Well, I'm sure it could be fixed over time with just cows grazing over it in certain ways. But like I said, I think it all depends on what you got going on. Eat raw meat. I think bad eyesight has something to do with hydration because since eating raw, my eyesight improved a lot and I'm more hydrated. When I yawn, my eyes get water. I have like 110% eyesight. Interesting. Hmm. Maybe. Yeah, maybe it's uh, maybe it's mucus. Excuse me. <coughs> Sneezing today. Uh, maybe it's uh, mucus. So maybe like bad eyesight is... Uh, your mucus, your eye biome is dried up. And so when you get on this diet, it increases your mucus and stuff, which makes it so your eyes can see better. Boxing fan, I'm going to Whole Foods later. What is that frozen salmon they have so I can buy it? It's a wild caught sockeye salmon. It should be about 15 bucks a pound. They have some wild caught uh, king salmon that's like 25 a pound. That's just absurdly expensive, dude. Martin O'Donnell, two to three acres of grass eating animals would comfortably feed four. Nice. My question, Martin, do you know what's like the minimum size of a herd of, of what is the minimum healthy herd size? Because you know these animals, they're, they're pack animals, they're herd animals, so you don't just want to obviously get two cows or whatever. I'm wondering how many you need to get in order for it to be a healthy herd. Bob Dylan's conscious. Eat raw liver. A, vitamin heals eyesight. Polar bear liver is toxic because polar bears have one of the greatest eyesight. Too much vitamin A in polar bear liver because of the snow. Good sight. Interesting. Yeah, I've heard that. Yeah, you're right. Liver and, and vitamin A is good for you too, for the eyes. Isaiah sockeye salmon. I was there yesterday and they had it for a good price. Abdomos, describe your fashion sense. That's very interesting. Um like borderline autistic, basically. Like uh, t-shirts and jeans. David Smith, eating fish eyes is a funny way of making your date know you're open to stuff. Only eating them cooked though. <laughs> H the human, you learn something new every day on this channel, West, and never heard of that for the eyes. Yeah, dude, I've guys, I've listened to um, Probably, I don't know, maybe 50 to 100 hours of the Ogenus lectures. And I've read uh, both of his books and I've watched his uh, DVD series. So I, uh, and I retain information like uh, pretty damn well. So I'm able, I'm able to rattle it off. And so, uh, yeah, man. <clears throat> I know a lot of weird stuff that Ogenus uh, talked about and the stuff that I don't know people in the chat can fill in the gaps so it's been really helpful man boxing fan I heard tanning nude is beneficial can you explain 
Um, sure. I mean, you're getting more light exposure. It's probably the best way, you know. Abdomos, classical music died out because of copyright laws. Oh, you mean like they can't make money on it anymore, so they don't play it? Eat raw meat. The reason classical music is so good is because they use real instruments and no electronic stuff. Yeah, and also I think because they were inspired by God. Like apparently Bach produced all of his music for God. That's profound, guys. People today don't do that shit. You know what I mean? They make it for money, not God. Wolf Shange, do you think anaerobic bacteria is bad? Only when it's deprived of oxygen. You know? But, um, they say it's bad. And to be honest with you, it smells bad. So, yeah, I think it's bad. Harold Damon, I just watched Carb Strong's new video on Veganuary. It was full of appeals to emotions. I bet. Yeah, that just with a name like that, Joey Carbstrong, it's just it's so dumb, dude. Like these guys, they're they're just they're dumb. Martin O'Donnell, for liver, if it's bitter, then it's toxic and shouldn't be consumed. I've had that happen with liver, guys. I've had liver that was bitter. What the hell is that all about? What do you think is in it? Because I had liver like that from grass-fed animals, and it tasted like chemicals, guys. One look into Carbstrong's eyes tells you he's insane in the membrane. Yeah. Yeah, I think I know who you're talking about. Is he got those big kind of, those big starey eyes? What about the band Impending Doom? They're a Christian metal band that sing about Revelation and End Times. Um, I have not heard them. Brandon White just got some fish. Silent prayer, hold all your thoughts in captivity. Absolutely. Always doubt yourself. Wolf Shange, I can recommend the book Sasha Pete. Sasha Padabler, Solar History. Lost meat, I can't seem to eat raw dairy. No matter what, I always get congestion issues and rash back acne. I can't get on board with the whole detox nonsense. I am fine on just raw meat. Ogenous was wrong. What do you think Ogenous was wrong about? Like, you can't just say Ogenous was wrong. You know what I mean? That shit will get you banned around here. You gotta, you gotta provide a, a solid argument for why you think he was wrong. And just because you have acne doesn't mean that Ogenous was wrong. Bob Dylan's conscience. So, what, so does raw meat eating date back? What's wrong with sauna? I don't get it. If it's so bad, maybe the way of life would have died. Well, I don't, I don't think it's like, no one said it's so bad. Like, no one said that uh, saunas are going to kill you, man. It's just, it's stupid and it's unnecessary because, you know, it fries out, it dries out your mucous membranes. It's unnatural, guys. You ever been in a sauna? It's painful. Anything painful, guys, is not meant to be done to you. Eat raw meat. Thoughts are 100% manipulated when I gone raw. The bad thoughts just stopped. Yes. Yeah, me too. And was it at the worst when I was vegan? Yeah, my mind starts to race and I start to get ruminating thoughts when I'm hungry. That's about it. David Smith, you can fix most land. Lost media. Raw butter, raw cream, raw milk, anything dairy. I've tried raw goat, dairy, even. I still can't breathe through my nose well when I cons whenever I consume it. can't breathe through your nose when you consume it. Um, Lost Media, are you aware that Ogenus did say that there's a certain percentage of people that have negative effects to raw dairy when they first try it because they've ingested so much pasteurized dairy in their life that the raw dairy is detoxing the whole uh, pasteurized stuff out of your system? Um, if you don't buy into the whole detox and you think it's nonsense or whatever like that, then this channel is not for you because detox is a hundred percent real and, uh, it's definitely a real thing. So you have to at least consider it. But if you're a hundred percent against the whole concept of detoxification, then there's nothing really we can offer you here, man. Uh, Wolf's change. If you can't digest raw food, it's most likely a quality problem, right? 
Well, I'm assuming lost media. I'm assuming that you're sourcing quality food, right? It's all grass fed, no chemicals, stuff like that. Sarah Sapien, Peter Ballerstedt is an excellent resource for regenerative agriculture info. H the human, do you defrost your meat on the counter or in the fridge? Uh, I do it in the fridge, but sometimes on the counter if I need to like do it in a hurry, and it works. Lost me to know I've tried 100% raw grass fed dairy and I still get issues. You're not the only one, Lost Media. You're not the only one. So don't feel like you're this like rare person that experiences this. You're definitely not the only one. But don't blame it on Ogenus, man. He's just trying to help you. Isaiah, shouldn't we meditate on God's word though? Just doesn't look to be biblical and hard to justify doing it in God's eyes. If it contradicts the Bible, then something is off. Ah, you sound like a Bible beater, Isaiah. I don't know, man. I'm not too into Bible beaters, man. Because you guys are stuck on the scriptures and anything that... Basically, you just said, if anything contradicts the Bible, then something is off. Yeah, I don't know if I can help you, man. If you're stuck on the Bible like that, and you're just stuck on the scriptures, and you think anything that contradicts it is wrong, I mean, that's not the truth, man. Because the Bible is a man-made book. It was written by men. And uh, you should connect to God through the source, through internally. And you shouldn't connect to God through a book. What is written in the book is important. Don't get me wrong. And it can be very enlightening to people. But it's not how you connect to God. Right? And that's not where, it's not the only place the truth is found. Um, the only place the truth is found in, in a... Uh, uncorrupted fashion is from God to you internally. The Bible has been subjected to corruption for thousands of years and potentially manipulated its message. You've probably never read the Bible in its original text, so you have no idea what the Bible actually even says. You're just trusting what someone else told you it says in a different language. So just be really, really wary, dude about how much trust you're putting in this book um, as in, in a material type of sense. The Bible is a material object, man. It is not an infallible eternal object or eternal message like the message of God is. You know what I'm saying? So, Abdomo, if you wouldn't get 100 cows, always get at least one cow and one bull. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, that definitely makes sense. I'm just wondering, like, eventually they start having calves and calving, and it's like, I guess I'd have to look into it a little more to know what kind of question you'd ask. Lost media. I drank nothing but raw milk for a couple of weeks, and it gave me the same symptoms. Yeah, you know, leaky gut, like, if you have a really, really bad leaky gut, were you a vegan before? Lost media? Potentially? I drank nothing but raw milk for a couple of weeks, and it gave me the same symptoms. Um, I am... I'm open to the idea that there's a very, very, very small percentage of people at the beginning of this diet that can't tolerate raw milk because of leaky gut, but it can be healed on this diet. So that's why Ajahn has said he never met anybody that couldn't tolerate raw milk that was on this diet. You know what I'm saying? So it may be something that you just got to kind of um, set aside for a while. Heal your gut on raw on raw meat and raw eggs. Lots of raw eggs. And then try to come back to the dairy later. Martin O'Donnell. Goats are social animals and you want a large amount of them. Same with chickens, sheeps and ducks, but not cows. You can have just one milking cow and bread. It's still sell the males for veal and keep the females. Oh, okay. Goats are social animals. Gotcha. You want a large amount of them. Okay. Yeah, maybe I'll just get goats. But I would like some beef, though. Gotcha. You, you have a milking cow and breed it. Sell the males for veal. Right. And keep the females. Gotcha. 
Wolf Strand, stuff the nose and back acne sounds like detox. It really does, man. It really does. It sounds like detox. Lost Media. Hero Damon. In Shakir, Albania, in the thousand year old tradition, usually the guest always gets the head of the biggest carp that they catch. Carp head is fatty and very healthy. Carp is the river cow. Wow. The river cow. That's awesome. Lost. Let's see. Blah, blah. Lost Media. I mean, digestive problems aren't really an issue with raw dairy, it's just the congestion and other detox symptoms that worry me. Skin rashes, hair loss. I hope they improve one day. Oh, yeah, man. You, you can't get worried about this stuff. I mean, it sounds like you're. You really broke yourself down and you're trying to heal yourself back up, you know, and uh, <clears throat> I think I was fortunate enough to where I felt like I was like, if your health is here and this is death, I was like skimming the bottom, you know, I think a lot of people go all the way down before they get, find this diet. I was like bumping on the rocks and uh, I could feel myself developing some shit, but I didn't quite develop it yet. So that's why I panicked and got into this diet and I was like, I got to stop this shit right now. So I didn't have too many issues with raw dairy. I didn't have really, you know, any hair loss, too many skin rashes, stuff like that. But I did have a lot of like diarrhea, tiredness, stuff like that. They will definitely improve. You got to have faith. Like this diet literally heals everybody. It's the only way you can heal yourself, man. I'm telling you. Pierre, God did not make the cow of today, but was bred by man. I've heard that about the Holstein. Lost me. I'm drinking raw goat milk right now even, LOL. Yeah, I mean, it sounds like you're frustrated and we're here to help you, man. You know, and like I said, you're not the only person that is experiencing this. I talk to people all the time. Uh, Keto Apocalypse is another person that comes into this channel. He was a vegan before and he, uh, he says that he gets terrible reactions from raw milk. And I have just, I've come to the conclusion that uh, it's probably an extremely damaged leaky gut. And what's going on is the milk proteins are leaking through your intestine into your blood, your bloodstream and stuff like that. It's either that, it's probably not that, it's probably detox, but I'm, st I'm still, uh, let's just say open to the idea that a leaky gut could make people intolerant at the very, very beginning of the raw primal diet. Eat raw meat, milk gets you hooked, yo. Yeah, it does. Yeah. It's hard for me to give advice on people that can't tolerate raw milk because I never had that problem. Wolf Shange, hair loss is weird. Is it growing back? Yeah, hair loss is definitely weird. That's a, that's a bit of an, ab, an abnormal uh, detox sign. Heliana, we all live in toxic environments and aren't perfectly present teen, nor live in the Amazons and, and breathe the purest air. So how else we expose toxins is the question. Right. That's true, man. Yeah, that's some good advice for you too. Lost media, I do warm the milk. I get it in glass bottles and put it in a boiling pot of water until it is warm. Just let it warm in your room. That's what I would do. Heliana, when I drink raw milk, it gives me acne, but does, but goes, does very well. Hey, there you go. There's someone that can relate to you. Lost media. Heliana gets acne. Hmm. Yeah, that's interesting, man. Yeah, lost media, you might actually be, you might be creating these problems by heating the milk. That's a good point, Wolf Change. And even though what you're doing is, is you're boiling the bottle, you still could be altering some of the milk proteins, dude. So just let it warm room temperature and try that. I mean, Ajnus spoke of hair loss as another detox symptom. It's like every negative symptom on this diet. He's blamed on detox. I want to believe that it's true, but it's so debilitating. We are sick. True. Yeah. So, well, you understand that like everything is detox though, right? Because the only way that these things happen is a toxin from the environment, a man-made toxin enters your body. And the only reason you get any sort of abnormal symptom in life is you are detoxing that toxin from your system. You're not detoxing the milk. You know what I'm saying? 
So when we say it's detox, we're right. It's detox. When you're losing hair, uh, you're probably detoxing something out of your scalp, out of your hair follicles. You know what I mean? Like something, some toxin is causing that to happen. You know what I'm saying? Diseases and these symptoms and stuff like that, that's the only thing they come from is toxins. It's true. It's, that's why everyone says it's detox. I know it's annoying. And when I first got into this diet, it was annoying to me too. I was like, everything's detox? How can it all be detox? What the hell are you talking about? But once you get into this like a year and a half, like I am, you realize that it's detox, dude. I've been doing this for 18 months, man. I've been eating nothing but raw meat and raw milk. I've been doing this diet better than most people are able to do it just because I'm so thorough. I'm still detoxing, dude. I'm still, I still have acne on my face, dude. This is from a dental injection that I got last year. This is from my root canal that I just got removed last year. I still have shit coming out of my face, dude. I just got, uh, I have a red mark on my nose this morning right here. I'm almost two years into this and I'm detoxing, dude. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're going to be detoxing for a long time on this diet. Uh, speaking of detox, uh, last, what was it? It was like two or three months ago. I got like one of the worst, like, uh, diarrhea and flus that I've gotten in like two years. I was like completely sick, dude. Sick off my ass, going to the toilet like every 10 minutes for two days. That doesn't seem normal, right? But I have faith in this diet and I have faith in the concepts of what's going on. And I just knew that it was detox the whole time. So, but most people that are just like a little, a little bit unsure or whatever would think that they got food poisoning or something like that. But it's like, I know it's not food poisoning because I eat the same shit every single day. So... Detox, my point is, is detox can be extremely rough on this diet and not a lot of people talk about it because it's just like some of it's kind of gross, but also um, most of us just kind of look past it and don't focus on it too much. But for some people, it's worse than others and I think they start to panic. <clears throat> should you go, what, hap what helped me with leaky gut was actually raw fish. Once a week, some fish should be a big help. Definitely. Yeah. Isaiah, but wouldn't God want to preserve the Bible? What about the old scriptures that were recently found in a cave that show the same thing as our Bible does today, just searching for truth, man? Thanks. Oh, yeah, that's all right. Yeah, you're good. No, I'm not mad at you if you're a Bible beater. I just, uh, I'm suspicious of people that are like too into the Bible. I don't know about the old scriptures found in the cave, but, um, it's just, it's very simply explained like this. The Bible was created by a human being who wrote it or who scribed it into stone. The information that was written into that stone came from inside of that person, okay? It was put inside of that person by God, okay? He is not the only human being that is capable of transmitting that information and writing it into that stone. We're all capable of that. He just figured out a way to connect with the source and do it. That's how the Bible was created, man. You could recreate the Bible at any time you want. Get a pen and a paper, listen to the source connection of God inside of you and start writing. That's how the Bible was created, dude. It wasn't created by magic wizards, it wasn't created by God's special servants put down here to create the Bible. It's not imbued with magical powers. It didn't drop down from the heavens. Um, and it's potentially been influenced by the devil over thousands of years because the devil has his hands in everything material. The Bible is a material object. It's paper. It's written with pen. It's written by humans with pens. Anything that humans touch is corrupted. So the reason I don't, the reason I'm suspicious of people that are too into the Bible is because I feel like you are blind to the fact that this has been, these scriptures have been manipulated over thousands of years and potentially changed from the original message. So until you look at the original scriptures, you don't even know what the original message was. 
And also, the original message and the Bible itself has nothing to do with your personal connection with God. Jeremy R., I believe Amy said nearly everyone can tolerate it eventually. It can take time. Fermented raw dairy was his answer for lost media. Yeah, lost media. I'm not doing a very good job of recommendations for you. I'm glad my my friends are helping me out here. So, yeah, start fermenting your milk, man. Lost media, I don't boil the milk. It never gets above low 90s temperature. I just warm it. It's, that might be too hot too, man. 90s? I mean, I guess it gets to that temperature in your body, but I wouldn't warm it at all, dude. So, lost media, you got to try this. Stop warming your milk. Just let it get to room temperature and start fermenting it. Start making kefir out of it. Haley on AG does mention how to stop detox symptoms and ease them as well in his book. Yes, he does. Yeah, Lost Media. Lost Media. If you need a copy of Ogenus's book, email me. I'll type my email. That way you can... Uh, I'm sure you probably already have it, but if you need it, get a hold of me. Hero Damon, what do you think of the Grateful Dead doing the carnivore diet on their heyday? Well, until people started sneaking in chocolate. The bear did until old age, though. That's how I found Ralph Primal. Yeah, isn't that interesting? I do remember hearing about that guy. The Grateful Dead guy who's been on carnivore for a while. Yeah, apparently he just did so much acid that uh, it just hit him like a ton of bricks or something. He probably started developing mental problems from all the LSD. And he found the carnivore diet and healed all of his mental issues. My brother's dad is a uh, acid casualty from the 70s. He did hundreds and hundreds of hits of acid. And he's like super fucking weird today. Lost media. I've always thought it must be either leaky gut causing protein allergy or just detox symptoms. I'm right there with you guys. Appreciate the input. Yeah, man. We've all been in similar situations. Jeremy, our great team we have here. Yeah, man. There's a lot of... Uh, Good sources of information here in this chat, dude. This is great. Jeremy R, check my raw milk pickup video. I need to check your channel out, Jeremy. Abdomos vegans always use detox to explain away their symptoms. Yeah, yeah. So that's I think that's where people get turned off by the whole detox thing is because the vegans are abusing that concept. Because, yeah, they are detoxing, but it's like they're causing their own detox, you know? You guys know that's what eating herbs is, right? That's what herbal medicine is. It's forcibly inducing a detox on you because you're ingesting a poison. Farood and M, I'm on the diet for nine months now for the diet. I had hair loss. I think it was because of my weight loss until till today. I have a little hair loss. I was always drinking a lot of raw milk. Jeremy R, I stopped losing hair completely. Damn, that's awesome. Eat raw meat. Anyone here remember? Or to this day, sleeps in very weird positions. Yesterday, my mother showed me pictures of me sleeping as a kid in very, very weird positions, and I was also sleepwalking and talking. Um, I've had every sleep disturbance in, in the world, dude. I used to have night terrors, um, sleepwalking, sleep talking. I've had sleep paralysis. Um, I've had exploding head syndrome. All that crazy ass shit. I remember my little brother used to sleep in weird positions. Like, he would sleep like... One time I caught my, when I was a kid, I caught my brother sleeping like, like let's say this is his head and this is his feet and he's laying like face down. His like, he was sleeping like that with his like, art, his back arched. It was really weird, dude. Lost media. I mean, I don't think I'm destroying, eat raw meat. Uh, I should say, I just remembered this. I, I have heard an interesting thing about schizophrenic people that they, uh, that they like position themselves in like weird positions and stuff like that. Lost media. I mean, I don't think I'm destroying the milk by warming it up. I've drunk it cold before too, for long periods of time. It must be, just be detox. Raw dairy is too powerful. LOL. That's probably what it is, dude. See, I knew you'd come around. 
Hero Diamond, I had a mole be gone ever since I got on this diet, like this mole just disappeared. Really? A mole? No shit, that must have been some kind of mutation. Interesting, you know, I had a mole too. I think I still got it though. Jeremy, my only problems are upper back and neck joint, which I have multiple compounded injuries. I think oxalates in the joint still detox and raw milks help. See Sally Norton. Juice, you guys sound like the raw vegans. In what way? Gotta be more specific, man. Eat raw meat. Yes, molds tend to disappear in primal molds. Really? That's why that one's getting smaller. What the hell? You guys are blowing my mind, dude. So I've had this mole for a long time. And I'll be damned if it isn't getting smaller, huh? Weird. Mr. Scowl, so what causes moles? Good question. Maybe it's detox. Hero Devon, I think a lot of us are overdoing the raw dairy. Maybe, I don't know, it's just a thing I've noticed. Juice, in my experience, hair loss is due to dehydration or mineral imbalance. Maybe the milk imbalances your minerals. Hair loss can be a lot of things, guys. Hair loss can just be straight stress. You guys ever seen someone go through like a stressful incident in their life and they lose all their hair in like a month? I think hair loss is stress, guys. Cause like, look at like Brad Pitt. He's lived the most like stress-free life ever and he has like these long flowing locks of hair. You guys notice that about celebrities? Hollywood celebrities, they all have their hair, guys. It's because they live a total stress-free life. Which eventually bites them in the ass later on, but. Martin O'Donnell, I'm growing hair like crazy on this diet, my beard and on my chest too. Otis 8, Bible has been corrupted and had certain stuff removed. It has, man. I really think the Bible has been corrupted by um, basically people that are opposed against it. Over the time, they've corrupted its message. Yeah, and it's actually a Catholic originated indoctrination. It says men should first submit to the creator before a woman submits to him. Absolutely. Right. That's how the woman that's how the woman and man bond together is God brings them together, but it has to come through the man. Jeremy, I'm trying to keep up so many good topics going on. Hiliana, because there should be equal respect, and of course man will always be more dominant, which is good. Yeah. Heliana knows what's up. She knows the truth. It's really not like, yeah, most women that don't understand that, they just, they're just fighting the truth. They're just resisting nature, you know? Heliana, we need protection, exactly. You need protection from other men, basically, you know? Eat raw meat. I th really think that carbs can cause moles. I got someone else, high carb vegan. Huh. Yeah, maybe it's some kind of weird cancerous type thing. Hero Diamond, my dad got surgery at 55. All his hair turned gray the day after surgery. Wow. Torsten, or maybe Brad Pitt drinks baby blood. Maybe. Or maybe he's just like, yeah. A lot of different things going on there. Helian, I think they just inject baby's blood and stem cells, LOL. Yeah, there could be something to that. They could be doing some weird medical type, like some weird doctor type stuff. Stem cells, yeah, too. It could be stem cells. Bob Dylan's consciousness says, at meat man. So your own truth comes from Sverige, whatever. Do you know what retinol is? 
I've studied biochemistry, but whatever, man. All right, guys, this here is what you call a gamma male, guys. So this here, Bob Dylan's conscience, this is what you call a, uh, a gamma male. Bob Dylan sucks, by the way, dude. But, um, so you're banned. I mean, I was going to give you a pass. I wasn't going to like, because I saw the Bob Dylan thing and I was like, Bob Dylan fucking sucks, dude. So it doesn't surprise me that uh, you're kind of weird. Yeah, I'm a bit suspicious of Bob Dylan fans. Let's put it that way. <clears throat> I've got a biochemistry major. I'm in biochemistry. No one cares about your stupid biochemistry degree, dude. No one fucking cares. You basically just proved that you're like more brainwashed than all of us that weren't stupid enough to go waste 60 o, but really give you no apps like uh, actual knowledge about life. You know what I mean? Like you're gonna get actual knowledge of life talking in these live streams to people that aren't brainwashed by uh, modern education and brainwashed into thinking Bob Dylan is actual music. Like, Bob Dylan is like the worst singer I've ever heard in my life. And <clears throat> it's just amazing how many people praise him as some sort of uh, God or something like that. When it's the worst music I've ever had in my life, I've ever heard in my life. Coming from a musician, I'm an audiophile. I'm open to all sorts of good types of music. I listen to everything. Bob Dylan is the worst person I've ever heard play music. What did Bob Dylan's conscience say? Something about Meat Man, you follow Sverage's teacher, um, have you ever heard of retinol? I have a biochemistry degree, blah, 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 blah. And just the Bob Dylan thing was just annoying in itself. I was tired of seeing Bob Dylan all over my screen. That's how you deal with gamma males, guys. You don't fight them, you just kick them out. Go find a uh, Bob Dylan saloon to hang out in. Anyways, all right, back to the topic, guys. Let's not let uh, retards derail the subject here. Yeah, that's how you deal with gammas, guys. You kick them out and you publicly shame them. That's how you deal with things that are, uh, that's, just, that's just how you deal with uh, things you disagree with and things that aren't right. Farood and M, Severia and you just had the same teacher, absolutely. <laughs> LOL at Bob Dylan, he's got some good records. Uh, I can't get past his voice, man, sorry. <laughs> Hero Damon, I just went for a run with my dog instead of smoking more. Trying to quit the smoking habit. Thanks for inspiration, Weston. Also, I can listen to the stream while running. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Yeah, just... There you go. Just be aware of what they're putting in cannabis and all that stuff. And just, you know... It's not a big deal if you smoke weed um, and you want to quit. Don't make it such a big deal, you know? Just be aware of it. But the big thing is, is like being exposed to these truths that they're spraying them with pesticides and cannabis is also like um, one of the greatest plants full of heavy metals and stuff like that. And it's like, then you got to realize when you're smoking it, like that feeling that you're getting, like what, what is actually causing that feeling? Is it the pesticides? Is it the toxins? Like, just got to think about this stuff.
Hero Damon. I just went for a run with my dog instead of smoking more. Trying to quit the smoking at... Oh, I'm sorry. I just read that. Shit. Lost Media. One thing I've noticed about raw dairy, whenever I consume large amounts of it, especially cream and butter, I've noticed eye color changes. Interesting. In what way? Like, what? in what ways does your eyes change? Hmm. Lost me. They're becoming lighter. I have brown eyes, but they appear more hazel slash green in sunlight. I think moles and dark eye color can be indicative of gut health. That's super interesting. Chili to go. Does you know the Lifestyle Christianity channel and Todd White? They are seemingly healing people from injuries and disease in the name of God and Jesus spreading the message of pure love. It's powerful stuff, man. God is the only person that can heal us. The food isn't healing us. You know what I mean? It's God and it's your body. God created your body. Body. Heliana, if you get anxiety to... SMOE exercises is indeed a great remedy. Good for you. Yeah, exercise is probably the number one anxiety reducer that I've come up with. Like, especially running. And uh, so that's why I think I'm kind of addicted to running, is because if anything in life, I think I am prone to anxiety a little bit. And this makes a lot of sense because there's people in my family that have had like panic attacks and shit like that. Now, I've never had that problem before. But I've been like shaky and shit like that, which I think it was totally like diet related. But uh, I definitely think I'm prone to anxiety slightly, especially when I get hungry and stuff like that. But just life in general, you know what I mean? Until I get, I mean, honestly, until I get like my homestead and stuff like that, I just, I feel like I'm living in an unnatural setting. So I'm, I'm living in a slight type of anxiety. I'm sure you guys can probably agree with that. Some of you guys probably live in apartments and shit. I lived in an apartment for a long time. That's so fucking unnatural. And it's going to give you anxiety and stuff like that. So, you know, it's just, but it's very easily mitigated when you live a natural life with a natural diet, because that's really what's causing the anxiety is the food you're putting in your body and the environment that you're in. It's your body telling you, I need something else. I need something to put in my body and I need you to put me in a different location, something more natural, you know? Wolf Shange, if they get lighter, it's a good sign. Heliana, definitely. You know what's interesting, Wolf Shange? I don't know if mine are getting lighter or darker. I don't know. Maven Taylor, thoughts on black metal? Um, I don't hate it. It's interesting. It's interesting. That's like that like, like Norwegian, Swedish type stuff. I do like metal, but I'm more into instrumental metal. Like my favorite metal band is uh, Isis. I'll link it. So, this is my favorite metal group of all time, ISIS. Abdomos, ooh, we got another gamma male. Abdomos, that is some of the worst advice I've ever heard in my life. If you disagree with someone, you should just ban them. Sounds like a socialist. 
Well, I'm not going to ban you for that, but um, I can see why <clears throat> you're maybe suspicious or whatever of someone that just bans someone that disagrees with you or whatever. But uh, that's not what I said. So no, I'm going to ban you too because you're misphrasing what I did. So you're banned too. So Ebdomos is trying to misrepresent what I actually just did there. So what I did was I banned a gamma male. And what a gamma male does is they get into your organization and they start to sabotage your whatever you're doing. You know what I'm saying? And they get whiny and they start to uh, tell them how much smarter they are than you and stuff like that. And so um, whoever I just banned their abdomos, uh, I banned that previous person because they were being disrespectful, not because they disagreed with me. But since you failed to see that and you weren't paying attention and you were just willing to uh, say that without like uh, thinking about what you said, I don't want you on my stream. So, sorry guys, I don't want uh, assholes on my stream. So, and if you don't like that, you can leave too. Eat raw meats. I hate people where I can't see the pupil because their eyes are so dark. Yeah, that is a little sketchy. Heliana, so I train five times a week, LOL. Stores. Lost media. Now let me state that my own observation seems to be that for those folks who can tolerate raw cow dairy, it does seem to be accelerate healing and specifically cleansing. Specifically, I note apparently accelerated iris color change in the eye. A vast number of Western alternative healing traditions recognize eye color change in the direction. Uh, no, I have not. trying to be as tolerant as I can guys I know that we're dealing with like sick people here you know what I mean like this is a lot of people that are attracted to this diet are having mental problems physical problems and stuff like that and I'm doing my best to help people and have tolerance and deal with everybody's different neurotic type things on these chat rooms but when people start being disrespectful and uh, start posturing themselves above us um, they're just gonna have to leave the chat. And when people start to get upset, when I do that to people, they're gonna leave too. So, very basic rules of this chat room, guys. It's not hard to figure out. If you're not a child, it's pretty easy to understand. A.R. Ortiz, Apocalyptica, and Metamorphostra are legit. Are you talking about the movie? Yes, I've never heard of Metamorphostra. What is that? That sounds ridiculous. Helian, I like your character, thanks. I like you too. Wolf Shand. I think a lot of teachers are gamma males who want to dominate individuals in a system where they impossibly can stand up for themselves. Totally, dude. I'm, yeah, I just got done saying that, guys. The culture, everything is inverted nowadays. The whole society is elevating low status, nerdy, talentless men above the men that actually deserve those positions. So that's why you're seeing these nerdy, talentless, low status males in positions of teachers, politicians, all this shit. Because the world has been subverted and it doesn't recognize actual talent and actual beauty. And it elevates everything ugly and talentless above that. Wolf Shange, Gamma teachers always tried to humiliate me while Alpha teachers treated me good. Dude, Alphas are the best. There's a reason they're Alpha, dude. Because they are connected with the truth. And uh, they don't get so upset about shit. You know what I mean?
eat raw. I mean, I think bullying is natural and a good thing. Dude, why do you think there's such an overabundance of gamma males on the internet and in the world today? Because they've made bullying some kind of evil thing that you shouldn't do. You guys realize bullying was invented for gamma males to prevent gamma males from ruining your day. You bully those guys the hell out of the room and they never come back. Yeah, bullying is very natural. You sense weakness. You sense weakness in the tribe and you want that thing out of your tribe immediately. Maven Taylor, Ajahn has said that excessive adrenaline creates over emotional people if they do not work out. That is interesting. That definitely coincides with me too. Yeah, I do get a little over emotional when I don't, when I don't exercise. Corn fed Western price. Hashtag cornivore. <laughs> Wolf, Wolf Shange checked out Isis band. I'm not into metal, but they are really good. Aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. You don't even, they're just, they're different, man. It's really good. Uh, long format compositional type instrumental metal and it's got just some really beautiful dips and valleys in the music that just really it's really good stuff man Maven Taylor I need exercise where I get paranoid me a little bit too Lost Media is Frank Tufano gay uh, I believe well nobody's actually gay there's no such thing as a gay man guys there's only straight men that perform acts of sodomy so uh, it's very, very potential, very potential. His uh, Instagram page was uh, just a little suspect, a little bit suspect. But uh, don't judge him for it, guys. Seriously, and I'm dead serious about that. Don't judge him for it. It's not our job or our place to judge him for that. Um, it's really not that big of a deal. I mean, that's his life. He's going to live it. Uh, it's wrong, but, you know, and he's going to pay for it in the end because, you know, uh, homosexuals, and lesbians live some of the uh, the most the, the worst stressful lives that you can imagine of any demographic. Um, most of them were drug addicted or alcoholics, and um, it's not a lifestyle that you want for your kids. Let's put it that way. H the human, you know, you had an alpha teacher in school when he left you. You'd actually miss the guy. Yeah, that's very true. And the class was quiet. Yeah, alpha teachers make, make school fun. Hero Damon, when I was a kid, some kids tried to bully me and I always hit them back. Never had problems with boys anymore. It's just like doggies setting their orders in the social hierarchy. Kids got hierarchy. Yeah. Guys, it's not hard to figure out. The people that are against bullying are the people that get easily bullied. And if you don't think we live in a dog-eat-dog -dog world where there's a hierarchy, then you're living in la-la land, dude. You know? And that's what these guys are trying to do is trying to make the world into la la land. And they're trying to turch, turn actual uh, masculinity into something evil. Masculinity is here for a reason, guys. It's here to protect you guys. I'm protecting you from gamma males. You know, I'm a sigma male, uh, which is basically an alpha male. And uh, I have an obligation to protect you guys from what I see as threats <clears throat> to us. And uh, I just, I'm really, really good at detecting gamma males because I don't hang around them. I've never liked them. And I see what they do to people on the internet like Owen Benjamin and Vox Day. And I'll be damned if I'm gonna let these guys do this shit to me. I've read books on this shit, guys. I've read entire books on this shit. It's called SJW's Always Lie by Vox Day. I'm telling you, man, I've read books on this stuff. I know how to deal with these people. I'm like a gamma male assassin. Like, you will not last on this channel, dude. If you're going to be a whiny little uh, argumentative type person, uh, name calling, or if you're just going to get on here just to try to piss somebody off, then you're just going to get immediately banned. You know, this isn't your little free speech zone, gamma males. This isn't a place where you can come and just talk all the shit that you want and think you're underneath some sort of free speech law. This is my stream and I'll just ban the hell out of whoever I want to ban. 
eat raw meat. As a kid, I broke a kid's nose because he was spreading lies about me. Then the teacher humiliated me in front of the class because all of this. But all the other kids respected me for this. Yeah, isn't that crazy? Once you get in like one fight, everybody respects you after that. I got in one fight when I was 15. And I kind of got my ass kicked because he sucker punched me. But uh, everybody respected me after that. Because they ended up beating the guy up for me. But uh, Because what he did wasn't right. But uh, yeah, it's just there's mad respect when you are willing to um, involve yourself in physical conflict in order to solve a problem. Guys, there's a reason why Gavin McInnes says fighting solves everything. And uh, that's been a saying for a long time, guys. Women probably don't understand that, but I think men, most men would understand that, uh, what I mean by that. Maven Taylor, if gays aren't real, I think that foot fetishes are a lie too. It does not make sense. No, I'm just saying that like, like, uh, so guys, they're, they're subverting the idea of sodomy. They keep changing the terminology of it to try to trick you into what it really is, guys. Being gay used to mean being happy, Okay. That's the definition of gay. They're trying to take our language and make it theirs, okay? There's sodomy. Sodomy is a sexual perversion where you're entering holes you shouldn't enter, stuff like that. That's been around since the Bible times. It's called sodomy, okay? These people are practicing sodomy. First, they tried to turn it into the term homosexual. They're trying to make you think that God creates gay people. They're trying to make it a scientific term, homosexual, heterosexual, like it's an actual indoctrinated scientific concept, but it's not. There's no such thing as a person born gay, guys. God doesn't create gay people. It doesn't make any sense. If he created gay people, the entire population would go extinct, okay? What you have is you have straight people that have been traumatized, they have been exposed to it, and they somehow continue to do it in their adult life. And so they've just, they're just practicing sodomy. That's my only point, Maven, is that it's just the terminology. You got to be careful about using that type of terminology because you're using, you're using the terminology of the gays. You're using their words. When you stop using their words and you use the actual terms of what they're doing, sodomy, it makes more sense of what's going on. Eat raw meat. Tolerance is a bad thing. Today they teach tolerance is a good thing. Right, right. I'm going to get some more milk. I'll be right back, guys. Changing terminology is also how they get away with uh, getting people to believe in abortion by calling it a fetus instead of a baby. When fetus actually means small baby in Latin, but they call it a fetus to try to trick you into thinking you're not killing a baby. So just, I encourage you guys to look into the actual meaning of words when it comes to concepts like this, because you're going to realize that you're being tricked. Heliana, it makes total sense it's an act of sodomy. KV, Gamma Bash 2020, haha. <laughs> Dude, Gammas are the worst, guys. Guys, I'm telling you, I don't like Gammas, and you don't like a Gammas either. Women hate Gamma males. They freaking hate them, dude. Women can sniff out Gamma males a hundred times easier than I can. Eat raw meats. Back in the day, Gamma males would be killed or banished. Corn fed Weston Price. Violence and frame is man's nature. The ones banning it are weak, dishonest people. This only this can only gain something via psychological violence, not respect. It's a shame kids end up being gammas. Lost media, you just blew my mind on homosexuality. That makes sense. It's the truth, dude. We're being lied to, man. We're being lied to. Heliana, yeah, what a great point. Yeah, dude, they're they're stealing our language, man. Uh, it didn't used to be called homosexuality, guys. It used to be called, uh, let's see, it was sodomy. 
and then it went to there's another word that they change. You got you got to look at the history of it. It's very interesting, man. But they keep every like 20, 30 years they change the word into something more acceptable. Now it's gay. They're just happy, gay little guys. It's like that's not gay. Like whatever happened to being like actually gay? Just being like I'm feeling gay today. Like feeling like kind of joyous. You know what I mean? Now you can't say that anymore because the gays took it. And then they took our rainbow too. Now you can't even have a rainbow flag. Like the rainbow is one of like the most beautiful things on the world. It, the rainbow was God's sign to Noah that he wouldn't flood the earth again. And the gays took the freaking rainbow. So it's like, you, you gotta just be aware of all this shit, you know? And it's like, I'm not mad at them, but um, I'm just a little bit irritated that they're uh, being tricky about this. You know what I mean? And it's like, if you're going to be gay, dude, I don't give a shit. I don't hate you. Like, I forgive you. But just be quiet about it, man. Like, don't try to, like, push it out into the world. And try to make it act like you're normal. Martin O'Donnell, I don't understand foot fetishes. Is it the shape, the smell? I don't get it either, dude. Never got that. Helion, how tall are you? Uh, I'm six foot three. Eat raw meat. Nice used to mean stupid. I know you said that before and that blew my mind, dude. Yeah. Knowledge. You know, I said something before. I said knowledge is poison. I take that back. It's too much knowledge is poison. I should have been more specific. This type of knowledge is fascinating, guys. This is interesting stuff, dude. It's very empowering. It makes you stop hating yourself for being who you are. Society wants you to hate yourself for being a man. You know, shit like that. Ileana, Satan is all about tricks and lies. Use discernment, my friends. Maven Taylor, hey gammas, next time he gets milk, let's talk on his back. <laughs> Heliana, gamma males are so unattractive. Yeah, I'm telling you guys, women, women can tell you all about gamma males because gamma males hate women, dude. Cornfed Western Price, I'm feeling gay. Me too, man. I'm feeling super gay today, guys. Jeremy R. So true, brother. We need to reclaim the rainbow. Absolutely. It's the rainbow, guys. It's the most beautiful thing that we got. It's the most beautiful array of colors that we have. I, I cannot believe that they adopted that. Even Taylor, rather than climate change, they uh, switched to global warming. Sounds scarier. Hero Damon, only through being raw primal, you can truly be gay. Reclaim the gay. <laughs> exactly. I'm going to start calling this the gay stream. What do you guys think? The raw gay stream? Nah, maybe not. East Coast color. I'm not gay, but twenty dollars is twenty dollars. <laughs> uh, that's a good one. Lost media raw cream makes me feel pretty gay. <laughs> you guys are killing me, dude. Get a job. I remember rainbow stickers on cars in the '70s and '80s. It was a Christian symbol then. It was, wasn't it? Get a job. Bring in the the gravy. That's some good gravy there, dude. I think I remember that too. Hero Damon, I learned gay means happy from the Water is Wide song. It says love is gay. I was like, what? <laughs> Eat raw meat. I remember in school we read an English text where they used the word gay for feeling good. I laughed at it because I grew up thinking it meant being homosexual. That is kind of funny. I remember laughing my ass off at the word pussy willow when I was a kid too. We were, I was, we were reading a book with my dad. My dad was reading us a book when we were going to sleep. And it had the word pussy willow in it. Come on, buddy. Come here. My dog's coming in here. He comes in here about two and a half hours in every time. He's like, come on, man. I'm getting bored. Come here, buddy. Come say hi to the stream. Come say hi, buddy. What are you doing? Man? I think I should probably open the windows for my dogs. I think it's like a dungeon in my living room here. What's up, buddy?
Juliana, you're so tall. I am 5'5". Five five. Well, I love short women, so that has never been an issue for me. The shorter, the better. KV, the raw gay stream is already taken by Frank. <laughs> That's right. I would be encroaching on his corner. I don't want to do that. Akiva Abraham, 219 on your stream, your exact words. Yeah, that's how you deal with gamma, guys. That's how you, you kick them out and you publicly shame them. That's how you deal with things like that. Or uh, That's just how to deal with things that you disagree with and things that are not right. That's how you deal with um, Yeah, maybe I misspoke, but that's not, that's not what happened. So, you're banned now, too, because you're trying to sabotage the channel. You guys see how this works? You see how the gammas just, like, come out? You know what I mean? They're, like, trying to prove me wrong and shit like that. Um, if you're paying too closely to my words and you're not looking at what actually happened, then you're just not paying attention, dude. It's, like, obvious to everybody in the chat why I banned both of those guys. <clears throat> if you're failing to see it, then you must be a gamma. So, see you later. H the human saw a rainbow today. It's pouring down here, then it's sunny, and then raining again, lol. Rainbows are beautiful. Uh, eat raw meat. What race are your dogs? They are uh, Pitskis. They call them Pitskis, but they're basically, um, they're half Husky, half, uh, they're half Siberian Husky, half Blue Nose Pitbull. Get a job. Gay was also a female first name once upon a time. Yes, it was. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, Akiva Abraham. You were, uh, like, investigating my stream, looking at timestamps and quoting me, trying to uh, make it seem like I contradict myself. Um, I don't know why you would think I would want someone like you on my stream doing that, but that was pretty bold of you to do that, but that's why you got banned. Shelly, have a nice day. Great stream. Thanks. Take it easy, Shelly. Eat raw meat. Ha ha ha. The three Mannings today. That's a record. Dude, there will be plenty more, my friends. This is just the beginning, guys. I'm telling you, gamma males are everywhere. They are lurking in the shadows. They hate people like me. They hate me because I, have, I am at a higher status than they are. Because I'm not a gamma male. You know, gamma males are fundamentally jealous of any alphas that are, or what they perceive as an alpha above them in status. And so they'll do everything they can to try to smear your character, to try to twist your words, to try to make you look like you're dishonest. And I think I have proven to all of you guys, especially a lot of my loyal watchers and subscribers, that uh, I'm trying to convey the truth to you guys probably more than most people on uh, any kind of live stream right now, you know what I mean? So I'm just, I'm trying to speak the truth here, you know what I mean? And uh, anytime I try to control my chat room and ban somebody, I have another gamma pop out of the corner and try to smear my character and try to make me look like some sort of uh, intolerant tyrant or something like that, when that's not what's going on at all. And you know, it should be pretty obvious why I'm banning people. It's like, not hard to figure out. Mar Marcellifornia09, trying so damn hard to be Owen Benjamin Box Day. Ooh, there's a gamma female, right on. Uh, Heliana, nice, what is your ethnicity? I am, I did a genetic test. I am like 10% Scandinavian, I'm like uh, 60, percent French and German and then I have like 30 percent British and Irish eat raw meat Helion is sweet on you I've gathered that Martin O'Donnell who's gay today Wolf Shange have you watched Vikings Weston. 
Is it like a like a show? I would love to, man. That sounds really interesting. Hmm. I almost gagged because uh, there's a bunch of bones in that piece. <clears throat> Timothy McNamara. You know what's funny about Gammas and Marcellifornia? I bet she'll still watch my stream too. You know she loves me. She probably wants to be with me. Timothy McNamara. How long do transition phases on average last when switching into a raw meat diet? Um, I mean, a couple months. I remember it took like a couple months before like, I was like taking, like I was going to the bathroom correctly, let's put it that way, until my bowels were corrected and stuff like that. It took me a couple months, um, like switching to the carnivore diet, but um, as far as detox symptoms go, basically, uh, I'm a year and a half into this, and you're gonna see that for a while. Like I'm a year and a half into this, like I said, I still got stuff coming out of my skin, and uh, like a few months ago, I got like a really bad, like what it seemed like a flu, you know what I mean? So, but it gets better as you go. Like the detoxes get less rough and stuff like that. Wolf Shange, I don't watch TV that much anymore, but it's a really good series. Right on. Yeah, I wish I had maybe some, I wish I had TV just for stuff like that. You know what I mean? Wolf Shange, Gamma Female, AKA Feminist, uh, pretty much. Pretty much. KV Vikings is a great show. Heliana, interesting. Yes, just a little. <laughs> okay, so KV Tech, you admitted that you misspoke. What hold others responsible? Why hold others responsible? You're banned too. I'm fucking guys. I don't want to fucking talk about this. Uh, Faridun M Vikings is good. I agree. Hero Diamond Vikings is good, but gets boring after. Heliana, have a nice day, everyone. All right, take it easy. Brian M., when you spot a gamma male, can you say that in JLP voice? Yeah, definitely. I will do that next time. Gamma male, beta. Eat raw meat. Vikings is a good show, of course. Very much drama, but it's cool to watch. I wish live will become like this again. Yeah, no, see, all right, so Kivitech, uh, Gamma Mail number four today, um, wasn't paying attention and uh, didn't see the obvious reasons of why I banned the first person and the second person and the third person, and they're still confused, and <clears throat> they're saying that I misspoke or whatever, or that I claimed that I misspoke, um, but it wasn't necessarily as much misspeaking as it was, uh, they weren't paying attention to what actually happened. You know what I'm saying? So if you're not gonna pay attention to what actually happened, then um, you have really no reason to argue with me about what, about what I'm doing on my stream. You know what I'm saying? So, whatever. Any more gammas wanna come out and argue about this? I mean, you can just leave my stream. That's perfectly fine. Era Ortiz, amazing. Good job. Apparently there's a gamma who's been stalking GLP for years. GLP had to finally go to court and get a restraining order. That's crazy, dude. That's crazy. Meet me, what food is good for hair growth? Um, I know sunlight's good for hair, hair growth. Jeremy R says liver. Yeah, and I didn't admit I misspoke. I said I may have misspoke, but that's besides the point. You know what I mean? I can still ban you if I misspoke, if you are trying to frame something that I did in a different context. And if you're just not, you're not paying attention close enough to what's happening in the stream to realize that's what happens, 
uh, they're trying to frame what I did as something different. And then that first guy was like, I have a biochemistry degree and Bob Dylan's awesome. And just that's like total textbook gamma male behavior, guys. Textbook. Okay, we're doing the M. Do you like winter and snow? Yes, I do. I'm not a big fan of the sun when it goes away. Like, um, I'm not a big fan of the darkness, I should say. Uh, Maven Taylor, their reality is different. They can't see what actually happened. Yeah, that's exactly what's going on. Like, the people that I just banned, they're just, they're blind a little bit. You know what I mean? And all they see, they're being ruled by their emotions right now. Like, they're just pissed off at me. Because they probably think I'm some, like, arrogant, cocky, uh, egotistical guy that can... Um, Feels like he can, can just control his environment and blah, 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 blah. Like try to make me look like a tox toxic male or something like that. But uh, hey, good. We lost like five viewers, guys. So at least we're like trimming down the uh, assholes a little bit. You know what I mean? Like it's amazing. Like some of these people probably think I'm on here to become like popular or something like that. Like uh, that's not why I'm here, guys. I'm not here to become the most popular YouTuber. Like I could give a shit less about numbers. These guys don't pay my uh, bills. Eat raw meat. Did you sleep with your window open tonight? No, man. It gets down to like 23. Like, I'm going to experiment with that. That's very interesting that you do that, man. But I'm going to experiment with that when it gets a little bit warmer, like in the uh, springtime, through the summertime and stuff like that. So I'm definitely going to experiment with sleeping with my window open. Because I remember sleeping with my window open in the fall time and I got really good sleep, man. I think there's very much something to that. So this is all interesting, guys. This is all interesting how you can uh, just expand the primal diet into your life with just sleeping on the floor, with your window open, sleeping outside, stuff like that. Mr. Debate. Jesse Lee Peterson, when he has people who disagree with him in church, he does not kick them out. He says it is all right to disagree with him. The church is about fellowship, not simply listening. Right. That's... That's what he does. This is what I do, you know? And, uh, but no, I disagree with you, Mr. Mr. Debate. Don't you remember the guy that got, got stood up at the beginning of his church and called him N-boy? Do you remember that? He called him N-boy, the N-word. The guy got up. He, he was a gamma male. He accused Jesse Lee Peterson of... Some kind of false corruption, stealing people's money, blah, 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 blah. Jesse Peterson kicked his ass out of church, dude. So you're not paying attention either, dude. Like, you're not aware. You're not seeing this shit either. This is not, guys, this is not all about just invite everybody in and they can say whatever they want. I don't know where the internet got this idea that every platform is a place to where anybody can come in and just say whatever they want and nobody can ban them without infringing on their human rights. That's complete bullshit, guys. You guys are not protected by free speech on my live stream. So don't uh, be under the assumption that, that that's the case. You know what I mean? And this also isn't your live stream. Just because I'm talking with you guys doesn't mean that you're going to control the narratives and stuff like that. So anytime someone tries to steer the narrative, start arguments, uh, posture themselves, twist my arguments into something they're not, et cetera, et cetera. They're just going to be banned. You know what I mean? It's like really simple rules. Any man, any real man would understand exactly what I'm saying. It's just, it sucks that I have to explain this type of stuff to people. Corn fed Western price. Weston, can you give me advice on sleeping on the floor? Fucking debate. You know, I hate debating anyways, dude. But um, guys, this isn't a place to debate. Go fucking debate somewhere else. Corn fed Weston Price. Weston, can you give me advice in sleeping on the floor? Uh, I'm using a, th <laughs> I'm using a, a three inch uh, camping mat. 
and uh, I throw a blanket on top of that. So yeah, get something, get something comfortable like a three inch camping mat, throw a blanket on it if you want to make it a little softer. But yeah, basically that's pretty much all you need. A little pillow. Yeah, I'm also not a preacher, guys. You know, I'm a raw meat eater. I just happen to talk about God every once in a while, but yeah, I'm not not a preacher. I'm very new to Christianity, so take what I say, as they say, for a, a grain of salt. Maven Taylor, or here, Cornfed Weston Price, other gamma out. <laughs> yeah, I knew, I just knew by the name debate that I was gonna ban that guy, because I hate debates. Debates are gay. They're super gay. Anybody that likes debates is gay. I should say a sodomite, but you guys know what I mean. Maven Taylor, I've been sleeping on the floor for a year now. All sleeping problems vanished. I'm telling you. Dude, I sleep perfect now, guys. I sleep from 8 to 4 a.m. every night, and I don't wake up one time. I've never had that in my life. Get a job. It's like someone walking into your house, talking a bunch of crap, and then claiming free speech. Dude, you nailed it. You nailed it, man. Lost media. The stream is your own private property. For sure. Martin O'Donnell. Now it's negative 25 Celsius, and I still sleep with the window open unless it's very windy and snowing. I do live on the fourth floor, so there's less air floor. Holy shit. Really? Negative 25 Celsius. What's that, like zero Fahrenheit? So... You sleep fine like that? Wow. I might have to try that, man. You guys are hardcore, dude. You guys think I'm hardcore? These people in chat are like five times more hardcore than me. I'm just a stupid American living in the suburbs. Eat raw meat. I prefer to mute block the person myself, but I don't care when the admin bans them. Yeah, it's. I just want them off the stream. You know what I mean? Cornfed Western Price, that's good, thanks. You raw, you raw meat. Tip for sleeping on the floor. Build something like a raised platform because the ground is always colder than the air. That's true, isn't it? Ah, oh, shit. Now you're going to make me build a... You got all the good advice, you raw meat. I don't know why I fucking... I don't know why I haven't made you a moderator yet, dude. But you're now a moderator. Eat raw meats. I think you have a good idea on what and who to ban nowadays. So feel free. Let the ban hammer swing freely, my friend. Eat raw meat. Doesn't have to be high up from the ground. Some senior will do. I was thinking about that. Yeah. I was thinking about doing like a raised platform just because of like bugs and shit like that too. And uh, not that I'm afraid of bugs anymore. Like I actually used to be because I had little silverfish that would crawl around on my floor. And I was like, I don't want fucking silverfish crawling on my head. So <clears throat> look at that new wrench. Woo. You earned that one, buddy. Eat Raw Meat is here for all my streams. He's got the best advice. You get what I'm throwing down, you get a wrench. Billy's Corner. Vegan Gains likes debates, definitely gay. Dude, they're the worst. If you wanna blow your brains out, go watch a vegan versus carnivore debate. It's, it's the dumbest shit you'll ever watch, dude. Eat Raw Meat, that's what they do in igloos. They dig a little hole in the snow so the cold air gets down in the hole and the sleeping floor isn't as cold. Dig a little hole in the snow so the cold air gets down in the hole. Wow. Oh yeah, because cold air drops. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Enlil, the master debate baiter is super gay. Yeah, debates are gay. <laughs> get, get a job. Debates are super gay. Anyone that likes debates are gay. Totally agree. It's such a gamma male thing to do, dude. And it's actually, I mean, no offense to females, but it's a, it's a female way of uh, like arguing. And that's what basically what gamma males are is they've adopted like a female type personality. And that's why it comes out really weird on men. But yeah, basically it's like uh, trying to uh, posture yourself over somebody. Trying to jockey position through words is the gayest thing you could ever do against somebody. Hero Damon, negative 25 is lower than zero. I used to go on runs with shorts at lower weather when I lived in central New York. My bodies can beat the cold. Dang, dude. You guys are making me feel like a little weenie over here. Eat raw meat says, thanks. You bet, man. H the human. Ah, oh, that's what that little wrench besides the name means. Yes. It should be a band hammer instead of a wrench. A.R. Ortiz, in the Odyssey, there's mentions of first sleep and second sleep. Apparently in Roman times, it was common practice to sleep for a few hours and get up and go about and go back to sleep. I was doing this all last winter and this winter too. So, uh, yeah, I think there's definitely something to that. Someone was saying, it might have been eat raw meat. Someone was saying that uh, it makes sense that you would go to bed and then wake up and travel to your hunting destination and then go back to bed again until the sun came up. Eat raw meat. Wrench boy reporting for duty. <laughs> Hero Damon, with great power cometh great responsibility. Lost media. Well, in the absence of light pollution and electricity, a man would sleep for longer periods and would have an hour or two long waking period. Yeah, that's what I, was, I learned was that uh, when we didn't have electricity, when the sun went down, you basically went to bed. So I started following that natural kind of rhythm and I found that it works out great. I go to bed at like 8, 8.30. Wake up at 4 a.m. Lost me. They used to call it the hour of the wolf, and you'd be in a very meditative state this waking hour. Your body produces lots of prolactin, apparently. That's interesting, dude. Enlil, read the $50 underground greenhouse book. He has a trench for the cold air to drop into. Wow. Hero Damon, debating is a form of manipulation where people are trying to claim a higher moral high ground. Real talk is short. Debates are just manipulation strategies. A real debate is short. Points are made. Dude, yep, you articulated it very well. Yep, basically. Enlil, don't go super banned crazy like Primal Edge Health. They go overboard. Dude, Primal Edge Health banned me like two years ago. So, yeah. And yeah, I didn't like that guy for a while because he banned me. But it was because he banned me for nothing, dude. I don't ban people for nothing. He banned me because I had carnivore in my name. He was trying to get carnivores off his channel because I think he was afraid that I was leeching uh, subscribers. So yeah, and Primal Edge Health is, he's a, he's a fucking goof, dude. Like, he's a gamma male. He's a fake gamma male with his big old fake beard and shit. Uh, be very wary of guys like that, that don't look like alpha males, but they grow huge beards out and they act like uh, little gammas. Those are total fake alphas. But yeah, Primal Edge Health, um, I'm not going to talk too much shit on him. Because I don't, you just, it creates so many problems like talking trash on people. But uh, I didn't like him for a long time. And it's funny you say that because I had that very same thought. I was like, I, I'm not going to be the guy that everyone hates because he's banning people for no reason. Because that's exactly what happened to me. And I used to um, tell people all the time, Primal Edge Health banned me for no reason, banned me for no reason. But it was because he banned me for no reason, dude. You know what I mean? So, yeah, and he also, yeah, Primal Edge Health also, like, sent some really weird emails to Sveria, dude. Like, really weird shit. Like, just flipping out on him, saying, like, nasty stuff. And it was like... Stuff you would never expect to come from the mouth of a man that had a wife and kids. It was really weird, dude. So it really like showed a side of him that was like a really big gamma side. So, yeah, Severia, dude. Severia. Yes, I got banned from Owen Stream as well. Guys, I've been banned from, from Owen Stream twice. And I've also been banned uh, from Primal Edge Health. And all of the times it was for nothing gamma male related at all. 
at all, dude. On Owen's stream, all I was doing was dropping uh, gravy about uh, the Black Plague, polio, and all these diseases they say that supposedly come from magical fleas and shit like that when it really comes from uh, inhaling mercury from coal and eating canned food and stuff like that. Uh, I got banned from Owen's stream, guys, by Slap Weasel for, um, for saying that. And so Slap Weasel unbanned me. And then I went back on there, and after Owen got swatted, I said, uh, I said, how'd they find his exact address? Did they uh, do it through his IP address or what? And they banned me for that. So I was either too close to the truth with that IP address comment, or they just like banning the shit out of people like the bears. But uh, yeah, I just, I kind of hated the bears for a couple days, and then I realized that uh, like, it was just gay. Like that whole 24 hour chat stream on D live is just like super freaking gay. It's just, uh, it's weird, dude. Yeah. So I'm a Sigma, so I don't really belong in uh, chat rooms. I don't really give a shit. You raw meat debating is idiotic. You either agree, disagree, or you shut up and learn to ask questions and learn just throwing facts. Each other is stupid. Yeah, dude, it's total intellectualism and it's, it's female behavior. Eat raw meat. Primal Edge banned a lot of people. He even banned Severia for saying something about a shirt. Yeah. Yeah, Primal Edge, I mean, he's kind of a tyrant, guys. And uh, I promise you, I'm not going to be a tyrant type guy like that. Like, I think I'm using some pretty good reasoning when I ban people, you know? And, uh... Cornfed Western Price. Tristan is gamma. It's normal. He is gamma. <laughs> Fake alpha is a F A G alpha. <laughs> yeah. Hero Damon definitely I think his wife runs him, LOL. He it has to be, man. Because there's no way that a gamma male could could correctly be the spiritual leader of his wife. The wife is probably the spiritual leader of Tristan. And the kids are gonna suffer because of that. Because the kids need the father as a spiritual leader. Because the father is what instills courage and strength and things like that into the children so ultimately the children suffer when the father isn't strong you know it's sad lost me to gatas is one of my favorite youtubers yeah me too man he's a good dude and lil i was banned a few times different accounts one was for giving advice after a failed debate Hero Damon, actually Tristan's wife runs his business. Dude, you can tell, guys, you can tell when women are running this shit behind the scenes, like Tristan's channel, because he pushes shit like plants and cooked food and all of this fucking wishy-washy shit. And, uh, and I'm not saying that women are like that fundamentally, but women generally are not black and white and as rational and logical thinking as males. And so it's going to be really hard for you to run like you know, like a raw meat channel or a carnivore channel, you know, with someone like his wife when he's a weak man, because she's just going to push her ideals all over him. And women tend to kind of, most women tend to kind of make a lot of things that are black and white gray. And that's why you see on his channel, his whole nutrition message is just a bunch of, uh, it's just a bunch of gobbledygook. It's like, Eat raw meat, eat raw brains, eat cooked food, eat cooked carnivore, throw some veggies in there, cook your veggies too. It's like, what What are you promoting, dude? And then he calls it primal edge health. And it's like, uh, it's just weird, dude. I don't really know what his message is, you know? And I think he changed it. It's like, we're here for people that are trying to adopt the carnivore or ketogenic, blah, 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 blah. And it's like, he's just buying into the whole new age mainstream dietary crap that's going on. You know what I mean? Like, the, we all know the primal diet is basically the diet you need to be on. All this other shit is just stupid. Vegan show ridge. Eat raw meat. Yesterday I was choked to hear Owen falling for the green smoothie thing. He also dropped weight. Goddamn vegan brainwash. Yeah, dude. Yep. People think Owen's got all the gravy, dude. I've tried to help them, dude. And I was thinking about writing him a letter. I should probably write Owen a letter because he needs to know this stuff. But I still think that Owen, it doesn't matter what I would say to him, he, I think he also is being run by his wife. And I think what happened was, is he felt guilty for, I'm just speculating here, but he felt guilty for all the stress that he put his family through 
about having to change locations and change their entire life around that he created this um, sort of utopia for his wife, this sort of farmland utopia. And part of that is this huge fucking garden that you don't need. So he made this huge garden for his wife to try to please his wife when y'all know that we don't need vegetables and shit like that. And so, yeah, now he's drinking green smoothies and now he's, you know, he's going to eat cooked food forever because he's like, he said stuff before like, who can turn down a good cooked food by your wife, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, I could if I knew that raw food was better for me and I wasn't, uh, and I didn't feel guilty about saying no to cooked food. So, yeah, he's definitely, Owen is definitely, I think, underneath, I think he's underneath the spell of his wife to a certain extent because of the whole uh, he says he has to eat her cooked food and then he has this whole like a gardening thing when he doesn't really talk as much about the garden. I think he made that garden for her and it's just, it's weird, man. I don't, I don't really understand, but yeah, I think he's being a little bit brainwashed and he's losing weight and all that shit. And it's just like, God, maybe I'm looking too deep into that, but, uh, I'm trying to figure out a reason of why he's not waking up to like, but he does eat like a pretty heavy meat diet. So he's onto something there. We'll give him that. We'll give him that. But guys, you got to be the leaders of your wife, man. Like the women, they really need that. And you got to you gotta um, tell your wife, your wives the truth, man, that uh, raw food is better than cooked and we don't need vegetables. You know what I'm saying? Jeremy R. Oh, no, he's skinny already. He won't last long. Yeah, and you guys notice on his, on his most recent streams, he's not as like energetic and not as like, he's actually like... I caught him actually like miss saying a word. I've never heard him misspeak a word before. He's definitely being affected by this losing his weight thing. Hero Diamond cooked meat makes you cranky. Well, it made me hence and I'm raw now. Cool thing about Tristan is that he lives in a good place with a homestead. I guess, but uh, I don't think living in Central or South America, wherever the hell he is, does not sound like a fun plan to me. I'll stay in America. What do you guys think of Frank Tufano? I think he's sick right now. Uh, he's a goof. He's a goof, man. Yeah, he uh, he needs God. I think Frank Smart has some good points about people shilling, but has some emotional mental issues. Yeah, it's pretty obvious Frank is not close to his father. Martin O'Donnell. Yes, Tristan is just in it for the money with the gay cookbooks and stuff. That's what I'm saying, dude. All those stupid cookbooks and all that shit. That's what made me like just unsubscribe. Well him banning me was like a big part of it. But when I saw the cookbooks and stuff and it looked like something that his wife made, I was like, what the hell is this? Like you're doing a carnivore channel. So your, your wife can sell cookbooks, cookbooks guys, like the most overproduced books in the world. Maven Taylor fathers are mostly no more. The sign that society is at collapse when families are failing, failing family is the first building block. Eat raw meat. I watched the show Homestead Rescue. They always build a garden and I always think, what the hell are they doing? It's all Hollywood brainwash thinking herbs and veggies are good. They're trying to create like a garden of Eden. It's so stupid, dude. Hero Diamond, I have a friend who stays vegan because of his wife, but he eats meat when he's not home. His wife looks like a zombie. No surprise, he looks at other women. Poor kids, man. If you were a man, he'd have a hot wife. Ah, oh, it sucks, dude. Yeah, he stays vegan because of his wife. Dude, that is so pathetic, isn't it? A man that can't think for himself and and has to use his wife as to think for her. And I'm not disparaging women here, guys. I like I love women. I don't hate women. I've forgiven my mother for everything she's done to me. I don't have a bad relationship with my mother. Um, yeah, she's a little crazy, but uh, I've forgiven her for everything. And you know, I don't hold any resentments towards women. I just I see men for what they are, and I see women for what they are, and uh, I see the truth. And nowadays you get in trouble for speaking the truth, even when it's something as simple as the men needs to be the spiritual leader of the house. You know, it's really obvious guys. I challenge you when you look at a couple, try to figure out who's the spiritual leader. You'll notice it almost instantly every time who it is. It's something that you can't, it's not material. It's something that you just sense who's the obvious spiritual leader. And a lot of times nowadays, guys, it's the woman and you'll see a very miserable man next to her. Lost media, give the peasants bread and cabbage, save the meat for the kings. If I was a king, that's what I'd do. I mean, I'm kidding, guys, but you know, 
I'll never be a king, but if I was a tyrant king, that's what I would do to retain power. Martin O'Donnell, if I'm going to buy land that's going 100% for animal agriculture, I'm not going to break my back growing greens and wheat and that peasant food. No shit, dude. Yeah, and what a pain in the ass that is. Eat raw meat. Yes, Ferry also said that being mentally ill used to be called bread madness or something like that. Yeah, it's called breadhead. They eat all the meat and we should eat grains like good. Yeah, they called it breadhead, dude, back in like the 50s. Yeah, bread madness and breadhead. Very interesting, guys. Guys, when I quit gluten, guys, I had like 20 mental problems go away, it felt like. It felt like I was, it felt like bread and gluten was making me bipolar. I don't know if I was mild schizophrenic or anything like that, but I felt like I was getting bipolar for sure. <clears throat> I really feel like quitting bread like cured any kind of bipolar tendencies I had because it would put me in these like weird fogs, you know? And then when I would break out of those fogs, I would become manic because I would feel so good. I'd be like, oh, I'm not in a fog anymore. And then I would, it was weird, dude. All that shit changed when I quit bread. And also guys, think about this. Uh, the same thing that's in bread a lot of times is found in like beer and stuff like that too, you know? Like yeast and um, gluten and stuff like that. And a lot of people drink that stuff and think how many alcoholics are like mild schizophrenics. Or how many uh, schizophrenics medicate with alcohol, but they're really like exacerbating their condition. Frog cast politics. Vox Day bans Owen Benjamin bans you ban. I think it is immature because the people you banned disagree with you without insulting you. If you like men who think for themselves, why ban them? Well, you, I don't know if you were here earlier, but uh, they were insulting us, dude. I got insulted. That's what started the whole cascade of bans today was we were basically insulted. But you can, so this, this, this is like a nutrition channel, you know what I mean? So you can try to disagree with us on the nutrition stuff all you want, but we basically know we're right because the guy that we followed has done more research on this than anybody in the world. So it's really like stupid to try to disagree with us on nutrition stuff because it's like, we know more than you guys about this. And like, I've been doing this for two years. So it's just like, it's foolish to come in here and start arguments and stuff for one thing. Um, but we do get off topic sometimes and we go into like religion or like other things like that or whatever. And it's like, that's fine. You can disagree with me all you want, but what the hell would make you want to like post it on my live stream? You know what I mean? Like you got to just think like deeply about this stuff. What would motivate somebody to go on my live stream and say, I disagree with you, blah, 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 blah. It's like, they're just trying to start an argument. You know what I mean? When we're having like a pretty good discourse here. And, um, so it's really not much as much as about disagreement as it is with them being rude about it. You know what I mean? <laughs> Eat raw meat is going to come after you, man. Mr. Scal, do you seriously not see it? Frog? Yeah, that's the thing guy. Frog. I think Frog just kind of got here, so we'll show him a little bit of mercy. I don't think he was here for the whole show. But uh, if you were here for the whole thing, like all the, every, every one of us has been, you'll see that it was justified, dude. And a lot of times, if I even just suspect you're a Gamma, I'm probably just going to ban you anyways. You know what I mean? So it's best not to even give off any indication that you are a Gamma male. And if you don't know what a gamma male is, I highly suggest you look up the social sexual hierarchy by Vox Day and learn about the hierarchy of men so you know how to act appropriately. You know what I'm saying? There's, that's the, basically the problem is that gamma males, they don't accept their position. They're the lowest on the ranking of men and they don't accept their position. And so they just want to argue with you about stuff and uh, they're just like frustrated little men. Frustrated, angry little men. ARTs, I can't eat gluten. I found eating store-bought potatoes would treat me the same. Outrageous brain fog. That's unbelievable. That's interesting potatoes did that.
Yeah, frog cast politics. Probably a gamma, most likely. Get a job. My ex-wife was Chinese. She said there's a term in Chinese for bread madness. That's interesting. Man. Hero Damon confirmed. <laughs> Be killed. Facts versus opinions. Ha ha ha. Jeremy R. I think we have diet wars going on out there. The vegan diet is voluntary starvation. Yeah, it's almost like Satanism. You know? It's like starving yourself. It's satanic. KV, these trolls don't understand them dealing with people with first-hand experience. None of us give a crap about their scientific studies or what their trendy, misinformed doctor is spewing. Exactly. Right. They don't understand that, like, a lot of us have been eating raw meat and shit like that for, like, years and years and years. Damn, I just spilled milk all over myself. Ah, Aero Ortiz, I think it's the glyphosate spray on both crops. Ah, that's what it is, probably. Shit. Glyphosate freaks me out, guys. <clears throat> There's glyphosate in vaccines, too. Did you know that? Hero Damon, oh, outrageous. Enlil, so that video on Pottinger's cast makes more sense when you know that our skulls shrank around 50,000 years ago after we discovered agriculture on the studies on IQ and skull size. Huh. I didn't know that. Our skull shrank. Huh. Yeah, agriculture was weird. And they tell you that in history class. They, like, promote it like it was something awesome. Like, agriculture saved the world. And it was like, all it did was, like, diverted us onto a different path to where we started eating that instead of real food. But if they wouldn't have done that, then it would have forced people to start hunting or farming or something like that. All right, guys, we're three hours in. I think I'm going to wrap this up. Evolution is a lie. Yes, it is. I think we'll end it on that. Evolution is a lie, guys. This has been a good one. This has been a learning experience, I think, for everybody. You guys have a great day, and uh, I appreciate all of the uh, information you guys have provided and helped out today. This has been a good one, guys. Make sure to find my old live streams on BitChute. I had to move everything over. And um, I'll try to keep live streaming here the rest of the week. And then uh, my schedule is going to change next week. So <clears throat> I'll keep you guys posted. I might start streaming on the weekends. But uh, I'll be streaming here until the end of the week. So, All right, guys. Peace.